Hi. There we go. And I just want to keep that where I can see it so I know how it's going. Okay. There we go. So, let me get scooted up here. I'm good. I'm good. So, I'm full. I just finished eating dinner. It was a little late tonight. We had to run to the store to get some green chilies. And my son misunderstood what I was saying. So, had to go back. <laughs> so, anyway. So, it put me just about 20 minutes behind. So, anyway. Hey, Green Fairy. How are you? Rascal, come here. Green Fairy wants to say hi. Rascal, come here, Bubba. Come on. There, Miss Green Fairy. There, Miss. Come, come to say hi to Green Fairy. Say hi. Say hi, baby. There, Miss. There, Miss. I'm trying to learn not to bark at people outside. Mama thumped his nose. Well, be careful. You'll tear my arm up. So, hey, Cheryl. So we're both off the hook. Yay. So he's got something bothering his little eye. I've tried to check it several times. He winks it and he'll get like a little filmy over it. So I don't know if him and the cat play and I don't know if the cat got rough and scratched him a good one or what. Okay. You go hang with daddy. He might have something to snack on. You never know. So I bet before the night's out he will. So Anyway, so, uh, anyhow, now if you just don't say anything when the bank statement comes in, we'll, we, we'll know we're safe, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, he scratched me a little. He just scratches the far out of me. My arms just look like I've been to war. So, anyway, I'll get him almost healed up and he'll scratch me. So, anyhow. I have a lot of vintage tonight, a lot of vintage, and I'm I'm starting upside down, uh, as in I'm starting on my second tub, number, the, where the numbers start at 26, uh, because there's more vintage in this tub, so that way it won't be so late for some people, so anyway, so, but yeah, going good, he just, he got me good. So, anyway, goofy little boy. So, and I don't know, I mean, okay. So, my big dog, of course, she had big toenails too. But she didn't scratch me like this. But, uh, um, it's been four years since I had a dog. And I don't care. If I trim his toenails, they're still just as sharp as little knives. So, keto is going well. I, um. Uh, Felt bad this morning, uh, kind of keto flu -y like, and um, I ate some pickles, and that helps a lot. Eating the pickles helps immensely for me, um, but uh, uh, I'm down. I mean, I'm down quite a bit on the scale, but I know a lot of it's water because I always carry a lot of water, and I'm noticing that now my feet aren't swelling as bad in the evenings, so... Anyway, but, uh, yeah, I'm down, like, between 12 and 14 pounds just in this first week. But it'll slow down now, so it'll slow down now. So, hey, puppers, what are you doing? You stay out from under my feet, okay? You stay out from under there. So, uh, anyhow, so I'm trying to stop that from bleeding. I want my arm dripping blood while I'm doing this, so. But, uh, but, uh, um, I had two days that I was over on, over on, um, uh, carbs, and, uh, I just picked back the next day like it never happened the same day before. One day I went to town, and, uh, I thought I was making a smart choice choosing the strawberry chicken salad, 
but the poppy seed dressing had a bunch of carbs in it. So uh, it was like 20 carbs, 29 carbs for the salad. So, ah, glory. Anyway, and then yesterday was pastor appreciation at our church. And we had a dinner that um, was served. It wasn't potluck style. They And they served it to us. And they had Mexican food. And so I chose the white green chili enchiladas because that was it was red enchiladas or green chili enchiladas and i didn't have any refried beans or any rice had guacamole with it and no dessert so i thought i made a pretty good choice um you know corn tortillas have a lot less tor uh carbs than flour so anyway so let's get started uh the first few things probably won't be vintage, but we'll get into some vintage things here. So hopefully more people come in. So anyway, I have this Dana Buckman. It's really pretty too. Oh, I looked for this the other day and the other night while we were doing this and and I couldn't find it. And then I, <laughs> I moved something and there it is. <laughs> So we have a really pretty Dana Buckman necklace. Really pretty. I don't know who, what he's working at. Anyway. And these feel like plastic. So um, Dana Buckman, Buchman, however you say it. I always say it Buckman and then I think I'm saying it wrong because it's spelled with a C-H. But anyway, we're going to start this at... Three dollars, guys. Three dollars. What is he barking at? Rascal. Rascal. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. Now hush. Hush your mouth. There's nothing in there that you need to bark. Hush. Shh. Hush. You be a good boy. Hush. Good boy. No, you're not coming up here. So, we're going to start this at $3. Sorry. Sorry. He just got wound up. Okay, little puppy boy. Smokey Bear says you better behave. You see Smokey Bear? He says you better behave. Or you'll get in trouble. Got that real, real in at $3. Sorry, guys. I forgot to put my lipstick on. I can't see my lips. So, still loving my haircut. And Vita cut her hair off. <laughs> Vita cut her hair off. We have uh, the real, real in it. Three dollars, guys. Three dollars on this. So look, I got these cute little uh, wooden rulers, and they say Smokey. Smokey's friends don't play with matches. A rule to prevent wildfires. So anyway, I do like that at him, and he thinks he's in trouble. Yes, he does. So anyway. So, we're going once at $3. This is number 26. And yes, we've not done all of that many. I started backwards today. I st totally started backwards. So, we have a Dana Buckman necklace. Going once at $3. Beautiful. Really pretty. Going one time at $3. Going twice at $3. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for $3. And Dana Buckman has the tag that looks like double B's back together. But in her old tag, you could see a D that outlined it. But in the new tag, I don't see it. But I know it's still Dana Buckman. So that was sold to Angie the Real Real. Angie the real. 
you keep your nose to yourself. And I have a lot of silver tonight, too. Quite a bit of silver. So, this one here has an N on it. Now, I've heard people say that it is the new Napier signature. And I've also heard people say that it is Naudry. I do not know. I just put on it that it has an N on it. So, look. Isn't that cool? I think that's really neat. So... Let me get it to hang. There we go. And we're going to start this one at $3 also. This is number 27. Starting bid of $3. Makes this like festoon kind of thing. Like a drape. It's really cool. Angie's in it. Three. I see people coming in. They'll be all confused. Oh, you guys, I didn't tell you. Hey, Josie, how are you? We're at $3 bid on this necklace. <clears throat> I started upside down. We're, uh, we started with the uh, items number 26, and we'll do them through 50, and then we'll do uh, 1 through 25. I don't know. I just started upside down. So, anyway, um, if you have never bought from me, you will need to uh register with me before i can accept bids and to do that you just need to email cindy loves jewelry at g no cindy loves jewelry ar at gmail.com and uh, i just need the basic stuff your your real name your youtube name and your um <laughs> Passed out. Angie's passing out already. And your uh, PayPal email address. And uh, I need you just to tell me. You don't have to give me your whole address. But just tell me if you're in the U.S. or not. If you're in the U.S. So that I'll know. Like city and state. So I'll know what to uh, how to charge your shipping. Because I try to do as close to actual shipping as possible. So we're going once at $3.50 with Miss Cheryl. This is an N necklace. We're going twice. Hey, Barbie, how are you? With uh, Cheryl at $3.50. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Cheryl for $3.50. So, if you guys have not seen it. Okay, on the video she done yesterday, I think she recorded it yesterday and uploaded it today, um, Vita had cut her hair, like, here. And today, or late yesterday, she's cut it up to here now. It is so cute. I absolutely love it. It looks adorable on her. So, first vintage item of the night. And I do have thermoset. You cut yours too? Listen, I'm all about this this haircutting. So, anyway. Um, let's see how long these are. Her, Yeah, her Carol Brady haircut. So, anyway. I, listen, I love mine. It's so easy. I just jump in the shower. And if I want to wash it, I do. I, if I don't, it don't matter if it gets wet. It'll dry in just a few minutes. So, anyway. So what are we looking at here? About about 17 inches. Is that right? Yeah. About 17 inches in length. They are signed Japan. A really nice faux pearl and they're knotted in between them, okay? Knotted in between them. Very beautiful. And they are vintage. And we're going to start these at $3. $3 for the lovely little pearls. And I laid it down wrong. There we go. $3. Vexine Rose is in at 3 Hi, Vexine. How are you? This is number 28. And don't get excited because I'm saying bigger numbers. I started upside down tonight. I'm totally upside down. So I started at 26 tonight. Um, why? Who knows? 
just because I'm a nut. Anyway, no, there's a bunch of vintage stuff. There's more vintage stuff in this one than the front one, but the front one has vintage. So we have Miss Mary in at four. We Vexing Rose is out, so we're going one time at four dollars. Going twice at four dollars. Final warning, final warning, and we are sold for $4 to Miss Mary. They are signed Japan, and they are vintage, and they are knotted. So, there we go. Knotted, not naughty, knotted. <laughs> that was 28. This is number 29. So, I saw a huge, if, if you're just coming in, and missed the earlier talk. I saw a huge go down on the scale this week doing uh, doing keto. Um, I know it's water weight because my sweet little feet are not swelling near as bad. So, anyway, so okay, guys, this has hey Maury, how are you? This has a hang tag, and all it says is made in China. Now, this is really long, and it's really pretty. There's 12, and 5 more is 17. That makes 34. 34 inches. Those feel like plastic. So, we're going to start this one at, and they're, they're faceted. I don't know if you can see that. They have like a facet in them. Inside of them. We're going to start this one at $2, guys. $2 gold toned. Uh, it says made in China. It's in really nice shape. Start at $2. And it's purples and greens and yellows. Purples and greens and yellows. Really nice. Really nice necklace. So. Miss. Angie, the real real is in at two dollars. This is number twenty nine. So, but I will tell you that, yeah, I would be disappointed if I don't lose weight eating this way, but I already feel a hundred times better. I'm breathing easier, and I'm not having as much afibbing, and I'm just already feeling a hundred times better. So, so I've just decided that for me, sugar and white flour and starches must be poison to my body. So, it might it might be okay for other people, but I just feel a hundred percent better. My joints don't ache as much. So we're at $2 going once, guys. $2 going once. You know, the thing is, is this is the second time I've done keto. The first time I lost 40 pounds just really quick. And then life happened. I fell off the wagon, burned it, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, uh, then I gained every bit of that 40 pounds back plus five uh, plus 10. So yeah, going twice at two dollars, twice at two dollars. But I have another friend that she done keto twice. She done it right after I started, she done it and she couldn't do it. And then later she started it again and lost a bunch of weight. Now she's just at a maintaining thing so. Final warning, final warning, sold for $2 to my friend, Miss Angie, the real, real. Thank you, Angie. So, this is our first silver piece. Oh, Vita, are you lurking somewhere? Vita, honey, honey, are you lurking? Because you're going to be so upset that you missed this. <laughs> oh, Vita.
I don't think she's lurking. Made in India. Sterling Silver. Hi, Michelle. How are you? You made it just in time for the first Sterling Silver piece. Just talk about impeccable timing. Made in India. Sterling Silver. Silent observers. Yes. Vita, are you silently observing? So... Okay, I left the tag on this. It is 10.98 carats of shungite, and it is sterling silver, and I need to, it's just a pendant. I need to start it at $8. Vita loves shungite. So I need to start at $8 on this. It is sterling silver. It is 10.98 there's Mary Pelletier in at eight dollars. Ken is waving at Michelle. Michelle, Ken is waving at you. The stone is Shungat. Shungat. Now y'all know I'm not I'm very literal and all that. It is Shungat. S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E. Shungite is supposed to be a stone that is good for healing and helps pain. So, we're looking at just, but it's 10.98 carat weight. Beautiful stone. It's black and it has a matrix in it. You can see. There's my friend Judy Daly. And at 10, this is a pendant. We're in at 10. Mary Pelletier says she is out. I'm drinking water, ladies. Nope. Shungat. S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E. Not sugar light. Shungat. There we go. So, Shungat. And we have Michelle at 12, and Sandra is in at, um, no, 12, and Judy is in at 13. I'm sorry. Michelle was in at 12. Judy is in at 13 there. I typed it in, Shungat. But uh, when I was having so much pain all over, Vita was always telling me, get you some Shungat, get you some Shungat. Uh, anyway, I have several pieces. But I, I just bought this one. I thought it was beautiful. Can you, oh, there you can see that matrix in that stone. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, here we go. This, I'm looking for a paper. And I'm going to tell you. Yep. And Michelle is at 14, and Judy Daly is out to Michelle. We're going to go once at $14. Thank you to everybody who bid. It's okay. I just, I've just i just been here 20 minutes, so, and I talked a bunch before I started. We're going twice at 14 I don't know if you saw what we were bidding on. We were bidding on a, a Shungite pendant, Sterling Silver Shungite pendant. And we're on our second count, going twice to Michelle for $14. And this is your final morning. And we're sold to Michelle for $14. Thank you, Michelle. You guys realize in just a couple of weeks we'll be changing time here. We'll be, yeah, we'll be falling back on November the 1st. Oh, I got the hiccups. On November the 1st, and it's already starting to get dark here right around 6.37 ish. Okay, let me. Sorry, I got the hiccup there for a minute. So, do you want me to tell you what I had for dinner? It was really good. 
So I will tell you this. I think I told y'all this last week. I paid a $40 fee to get 28, 28 days of menus. So we're looking at a two inch extender. And it is. No, it always helps when you uh, do it. Hey, Jamie, how are you, sweetie? Always helps when you go forward. Okay, so we're at nine and a half, 19 inches with two inch extender. Okay, so I paid, hey, Blandine, how are you, sweetie? Paid $40 to get 28 days of menus planned out for me with the right macros for me and everything. I did a quiz, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. Anyway, so um, anyhow, now I've not stuck real close to all of the menus. I've stuck as close as possible. Tonight, I did do the menu that they had gave me. It was a creamy green chili uh, chicken bake. And it had cream cheese with cumin, garlic, salt and pepper, and a can of four ounce can of green chilies in it all mixed together. And then you spoon that on top of four chicken breasts. And then you top it with a cup of Monterey Jack or cheddar cheese and bake it for 30 to 40 minutes. And it was yummy. It was so good. Oh, my gosh. And I ate it with a side of, of rice cauliflower. So, anyway, isn't that cute? Silver black enameled. A little necklace, and we're going to start it at $3. Anyway, so the calorie count on it was real good. It was less than, um, it was right at 400 calories for the serving. Right at 400 calories. Uh, only had 3 grams of carbs. It was real good. So, anyhow. so But, y'all know I love to watch What's for Dinner videos. And so I've gone to what's for dinner keto style videos. So lots of good recipes that I'm seeing. I've tried a couple. So anyway, we'll start at $3 on this, y'all. It is really pretty. It's got a, that kind of style. That's not a rope. That's kind of like a snake style chain. And it's silver. And then you've got this big pendant. So... Anyway, start at $3 on this. Really cute. Really, really cute. So, got Blandine in at 3 And I'm watching on my phone to see how clear we're staying and all that. So far, on my end, on my phone, it's looking pretty good. And I'm just on my, on my data. I'm not on my Wi-Fi because that way it don't use my Wi-Fi up. That is really pretty. Blandine's in at three. Anybody else interested in going on this? We're going once at three dollars, guys. Going once at three dollars. I said it was nineteen inches with a twenty. With two inch extender. I could was like sitting here going. What did I say it was how long it was. 19 inches with a two inch extender. Going twice at three dollars you guys. Two times three dollars. And this is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Blandine. Thank you Blandine. Here we go. On we go. Uh, another vintage piece. I told you I had lots of vintage in this half. Okay, this has a beautiful, beautiful box clasp. There we go. Put it back in. And we're looking at... Looking at... Where's that? 16 inches at the shortest length. Okay. 16 inches at the shortest length. And I do believe these may just be plastic. I'm not real sure. There is no mark on them at all. 
and we'll start these guys at three dollars on these these are really pretty they're a real pretty matte almost a matte gold but not quite matte there we go now let's try to get that to lay right of course, I, t I plugged it in upside down. We have Vexen in at $3. There. There we go. I plugged it in wrong. I always plug things in wrong. There we go. Now, let's hang it right. And let's watch our feet when we get up because I just dropped that big pin. <laughs> we have Vexen Rose in at $3. This is number... Lot number 32, and I'm going backwards tonight, so <laughs> just hang with me. Yeah, I love box class. Gold beads. We're going once at $3. Guys, one time at $3. Now, in the other thing, I do have a, um, I do have a lot of vintage beads also in the other tub. So hang with me all night. I've got a bunch of vintage stuff. I think when I counted, I had about 15 to 20 vintage pieces. But a couple of them are lots. So, I, and I've done smaller lots than I've done last time where we've done the 25. That way, more people might can bid on it. So, going twice at $3. Final warning, final warning. And sold for $3 to Vaccine Rose. Congratulations, Vaccine. Thank you so much for bidding, sweetie. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Okay. I got a couple of modern pieces here. They are signed. This one is Chico's. I like Chico's jewelry. I mean, I don't know that everybody does because not all of us like the same thing. But I like Chico's jewelry. And uh, it's usually very heavy. I think it's because it's big and gaudy like I am. So we're looking at 15 plus 4 inch extender. So you got up to 19 inches on a waxed silk cord. These feel really heavy so I'm not real sure what we're looking at if we're looking at uh, ceramic glass or even stone but we're going to start this one at four dollars this is Chico start at four dollars very cute four dollars on the Chico's Chico and the man so, it's really cute. I like it very much. I waxed my eyebrows this week. Waxed my chinny chin chin. I know Barbie's going to say TMI. So, hey. Anybody, four dollars is where I would like to start on this. Sometimes a girl's got to wax where she's got to wax. That's just like Wednesday night. Uh, was it last Wednesday night? No, the Wednesday night before that. Uh, my eyes were just a running, and and I got Cheryl Seaver in uh, at four. My eyes were just a running, and and. Uh, one of my little kids in children's church, Mallory, she says to me, Miss Cindy, are you crying? And I said, no, it's my allergies. I said, I think I'm allergic to my makeup. And she says, so why do you wear it then? I said, honey, you'll learn this, but when the barn needs painting, you paint it, okay? So, hey, Susie Poo, Susie P, Poo, Susie, Susie Poo, Susie P, how are you? Anyway, so... My barn needs painting, so my face is all broke out like I've got a high school pimple break outbreak. So we got Shell Seaver in at four dollars on the Chico's necklace. Four dollars on the Chico's necklace going one time to Cheryl Seaver. One time to Cheryl Seaver, guys. Going twice to Cheryl Seaver. 
This is your final warning. Final warning. And we are sold to Cheryl Seaver. Thank you, Cheryl, for $4. So, anyhow, but yeah, my daddy always told me, girl, if the barn needs painting, you paint it. So, anyway, so. <laughs> TMI, TMI. $4, that was Cheryl Seaver. Thank you. Uh, so, I cut my hair. Vita's cut her hair. Angie said, the real real said she cut her hair. Who's next in the haircut? Belly Bean and you are doing well. Good, 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 good. Good news. We like to hear that. So, Rascal came in earlier and said his highs, but his daddy is in something. So, you know, he has, he has to keep his attention right where it needs to be. So, let's do this one. I like it. It hooks in better. So, I will tell you. This one is 17 inches at the shortest, and it has a four-inch extender. It has a New York, sorry, a New York signature. Of course, I would drop it. And Blandine got her hair cut, too. I saw that, too. So, who's next? Who's getting theirs cut next? So, these are glass beads, y'all. They are glass. You've got a teal color and a green color. And then this is brown and this is teal. And we're going. this is New York. And we're going to start this one at $4 also. And I'm caught. There we go. Caught. I caught myself. Start at $4 on the New York necklace. With the beautiful glass beads. Sorry. Anybody interested in these? Listen, I love these green ones right here. Even if I took off the middle strand and wore just the green ones. I love those. Those are gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see. But they've got like a a stroppy texture to them, a stroppy. And then you got these, and they're glass also. So I'm not sure if these are glass or not, but these little ones here are. So four dollars. Okay. I don't do this often, but we'll start it at $3. Let's see if anybody's interested in it, in it at $3. $3. $3. $3. Guess we could do a backward auction like Barbie's done before. $3. Okay, we'll start at $2. Anybody want to start it at two dollars? Two dollars. Two dollars, guys. Nobody. Oh, Cheryl's in at two. Cheryl is in at two. Anybody want to go higher than two? If not, then we're letting it. Cheryl have it at two. Go once at two. Hi, Olga. How are you? Going twice at two. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for $2 to Cheryl Seaver. Thank you, Cheryl. We're getting close to the first giveaway, guys. Ah, where are my vintage lovers? So we have this right here. They are beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know who I got that from. Anyway, they're little screw back pine cone. 
earrings screw back and they are sterling silver they are sterling silver they've been tested and they are sterling not only this part is sterling so is the little pine cone looking so uh we're going to start these little sweet silver earrings at five dollars yeah Normally don't start sterling that low, but we're going to start at five dollars. I got to really get, I got these out of a big lot. So start at five dollars on these sterling silver screw back earrings. Got Michelle in at five dollars. Michelle is in at $5. And they are actually stamped sterling. They say sterling and not 925. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check here. Not on that one. Not on that one. I don't remember where I saw it, but I know they were tested, so I'm not seeing where I saw it. But that don't mean that they're not. I mean, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> of all the places to be marked, they're actually marked on the inside of the on the inside of the screw here. On the inside right here of the screw back, okay? So we are at six dollars and fifty cents. Blandine is in at seven, but they are. I was like, I know I saw a mark on these sterling pinecone earrings. Blandine is in at seven. Hey, Geraldine. Thank you. I love my haircut. Have you got your package yet? The tracking has been crazy on it. It just showed it in an airplane going across the ocean. So I hope you got it. So, but uh, uh, I, I check in on it. Every, I, I usually try to check in on it once a week. So I haven't checked this week yet. Usually do it when I'm doing shipping. So got Blandine at seven. Seven dollars, guys, on these sterling silver pine cone earrings. Drinking water. And it's tasting really good to me today. Cheryl's at seven fifty. Cheryl is at seven fifty. Michelle is at eight. We're at eight. There's Mike. I got my package from Barbie. Today, I got a package from Vita, a package from Barbie, and a package from Patsy Crafty. So, right now, I only have two other, no, three other packages coming. So, so I have a package uh, from Bougie coming, and a package from Lena coming, and a package from Shopping Channel coming. Michelle going once at $8. Are you done, Cheryl Seaver? Are you done on these, sweetie? Michelle going once at $8. Michelle going once at $8. We are going... Twice at $8. Cheryl says she's out. Twice at $8. This is your final warning, guys. Final warning. You are back in lockdown, so everything is slow. Yuck. That's horrible. So, thank you, Blandine. And we are sold to Cheryl for $8. I mean, to Michelle for $8. Michelle, I got it right. 
I just said it wrong the first time, Michelle. Hey, Blaine Dean. Oh, I hate that you guys are in lockdown again. That's that's sad. So, okay. This next one, let me see. Oh, no, it's time for a giveaway. We've got giveaways. So, we're doing $3 and $2. If you won last week and you didn't buy, you make sure you check your PayPal and get your get your gift, okay? Because I send it to you. So, we've got giveaway A and giveaway B. A is for $3. B is for $2, okay? Uh, we're going to pick a number between 1 and 50. And uh, don't start picking until I tell you start. But I want to go over the rules right quick going to pick a number between 1 and 50. If you see somebody above you has picked has picked the same number as you have, you can change it one time and one time only, okay? So, make sure that you ask me if your number or their number is first because last week somebody thought their number was first and somebody else's was first, okay? And uh, if you... Um, you do not have to be subscribed to my channel. You do not have to like me. You do not have to purchase anything. This is not part of YouTube giveaway. This is a Cindy Love Story YouTube. And no whining, Barbie. No whining. There will be more giveaways. Everybody have fun. And if you want to read the rules, they're in the description box. They're always in the description box. Okay? 1 to 50 and start. Get your numbers in there. Folky folkies. Elizabeth's in it. Make sure if you pick a number that I have your information in case you win. Because if I don't have your information, I can't give you a prize. Barbie, do you still like your uh, Dollar Tree makeup? I'm still loving mine. I'm about out of blush. I've been using uh, cream blush because it, anything with powder makes my eyes water. So uh, I got to find me some good cream blush. If you use good cream blush, tell me what it is. Okay. But I'm loving this foundation. It covers so good. It covers so good. Nightmare. Nightmare. It's a nightmare being, yeah, a nightmare being on lockdown. So. And it, it's horrible for business. I mean, I know you're a hairdresser, so it's got to be rough. Rough. Is your government helping y'all at all? I know here in my state, the hairdressers got money. They, they got money, like unemployment money. So, anyway, but I don't know, you know, I don't know how other nations and stuff are doing it. So, hopefully your government, your nation is helping financially so anyway pick your numbers pick your numbers yes we are praying for everybody this this is horrible it's just absolutely horrible do not like it oh giveaway a giveaway b giveaway a is for three dollars off and if you don't buy anything, I'll just send it to you as PayPal cash. Giveaway B is for $2 off. I sent out three things of cash last week. Let's see. Yeah, somebody else already had 13 up there, so you can change your pick, sweetie. Yeah, Elizabeth came in very first with 13. So you're welcome to change your number one time. One time. There you go. Thank you, Cheryl. And look at that pretty little card. When y'all see that little figure, do you think of Cindy Loves Jewelry? I hope so. So. Jude is still ugging at me. Mm. Trying to see what my phone is buzzing about. Uh. Oh, small benefits, so.
And when you see turtles, good. Okay, guys. There we go, Jared. <laughs> well, she still picked the same number that Blandine did. I'll just tell you, it doesn't matter. Neither one of those numbers are close. So, anyway, I'm fixing the top stop. And y'all think of me. Susie, did you get a number in? Josie, did you get a number in? Let's just say. Let me just make sure. Come on. Here we go. Down here. Josie got a number in. And Sandra got a number in. And Susie got a number in. Just making sure everybody got their numbers in. Okay. And we'll say stop. There we go. Okay. A giveaway. $3 off. I'm laughing. The number is 46. 46. We'll come back up here and let's see. Uh, Sandra Conco is at 42. That's four away. Now, it doesn't matter above or over. Jude is at 48. That's two away. Looks like Jude is the winner. Congratulations, Jude. You won $3 off. Sorry. Yeah, I promise I'm not mean. <laughs> I'm not mean, I promise. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing because Jude has won a couple of times. And then, she, if she, like, has a headache or something, she'll fall asleep. And so, then she doesn't buy anything. And so, she gets real aggravated at me for sending her the money. And it makes me laugh every time. So, I'm sorry. I have a wicked, evil sense of humor. B is for $2 off. And the number is 22. And Miss Vexing Rose is on the dot. On the dot, vaccine rose. Thank you. <laughs> Jude just gonna she's just gonna start buying things blindly so that I don't give her prizes. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, my wicked sense of humor. So <laughs> anyway, so thank you, thank you, ladies. Let's go. Okay, guys, I had never heard of this. Uh, Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. Okay, Elizabeth, Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. So, I had never heard of this designer. I'll just tell y'all that, that, that right now. It's Kathy Davis. And she does work in silver, and then if it's not sterling silver, most of her things are silver plated, okay? So we're looking at 20 inches, but it has the little things here. And it is signed right on the back. It says Kathy Davis, and she's got a little birdie there. And then it says uh, Scatter Joy. Scatter Joy. Oh, there you go. So, Scatter Joy. And it is a little Tree of Life necklace. And it's 20 inches long. And it is really pretty. And they have rhinestones in them. And didn't realize. No, it does not look like any rhinestones are missing i don't see any missing and it says scatter joy you can look it up if you want to um i've seen the prices anywhere there we go anywhere from uh 
uh, starting right around the $20 mark and going up. I saw some of them at 60 That's sterling, but they are supposed to be silver plated. So this is Kathy Davis, and this is a tree of life. And we're going to start it at $4, guys. $4, number 36, Kathy Davis necklace. Ooh. Actually, yeah, number 30. Yeah, 36. This is actually number 37. So there we go. You know who I'm missing tonight? Lori Hollister. You're not here. A little while. $4 to Miss Josie. So I have been um, vegging out, binge watching Skin Wars. Have y'all ever watched that where they body paint people, body paint people? Anyway, uh, I've watched like 14 episodes in the last, since the weekend. Anyway, and so the other day they said, okay, you're going to paint a pregnant mama's belly. And make sure that you don't copy what your neighbors are doing. So, no, it's a tree of life. It's a tree of life. A really pretty tree of life. Let's see. There you go. Yep, it's a tree of life with little rhinestones in it. Anyway, so they said, make sure you don't copy your neighbors. Well, they are all start painting. And they're halfway through, and they all look around. There's only four of them in the competition at this point. They all look around, <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> Three of them painted a tree of lives <laughs> on the pregnant bellies. And so the girl that won, she painted a mama froggy and baby tadpoles on her belly. So anyway, it was real cute. So anyhow, but it's like... They didn't pay attention to what we said. So we've got Cheryl Seaver in at five. Miss Josie, are you done? So I have a really weird sense of humor. Things like that just make me, they make me laugh because it's like, okay, you just got penalized because you did not pay attention. So pay attention. I'm always telling my kids in children's church, pay attention and you'll know what the answers are. So when we do questions, so we're at six dollars. Cheryl's out, going once at six dollars, guys. Going one time at six dollars. Going two times at six dollars. Two times at six dollars. This is your final warning. Final warning, and we are sold to Miss Josie for six dollars. Thank you, Miss Josie. Thank you Cheryl, for bidding. Thank you both for bidding. I appreciate it so much. So. This is, that was number 37. This one is 36. I'm doing everything backwards tonight. We have a saying, but it's not very nice, so I won't say it. <laughs> but y'all all probably know it. <laughs> so, anyway, let's, let's hook her where she goes. Find my little point there. Looks like we are at 17, no, 15 inches with a three and a quarter inch extender. This is really cute. No markings on it at all, but it's very cute. Has these little dingle dangle dong thingies, thingamabobs, and these little thingamabobs here. And that is like a, a brown, a really dark brown. It feels like plastic, I will tell you that. We'll start the bidding on this at $1. And there's nothing wrong with, I mean, I don't see hardly any wear at all on it. So, but uh, uh, I'm just starting at a dollar just because I like to sometimes throw things around. So, call that almost a butterscotch color. Butterscotch necklace. 
Start at a dollar. Uno dollar. And it's 15 inches with 3 inch extender. So 18 total inches. Mm. One dollar is the bid. One dollar, guys. Got Cheryl in at a dollar. My husband's being pitiful. And he takes great joy in being pitiful. It is really pretty. Anybody else interested? Number 36. Going one time for a dollar, guys. One time for a dollar. I'm changing bags. Some of them were in little bitty bags and I left them in it and put the numbers on them and I thought when I show those I'm going to put them back in bigger bags because they're harder to get in these little bitty bags. Hey Susan Gill, you're not late. I'm just doing my numbers upside down. <laughs> so yeah, I just started with my numbers at 26 tonight instead of at number one. So this is number 36. So we've done 12 items. 12 items. Going once at a dollar. Twice at a dollar. Lot of warning. Sold to Cheryl for one dollar, guys. Sold to Cheryl. There. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, this is really pretty. Yeah, I started at 26. We've just done 12 items. This one is magnetic closure. And I may have showed y'all this before. I'm just not sure. With a really large mesh thing. 12. 17 inches has a magnetic closure with a really. No, I said magnetic. It actually has a. Has a snap. It snaps. See? Snap closure. Has this really pretty black slide. And it is mixed metal. This is gold tone. This is silver tone. The mesh is silver tone. The back things are gold tone. And the slide is gold tone. Thank you, Miss Susan. Did you not notice that last week? Because I have had it uh, a week and a half, two weeks. This is my second thing. Anyway, we'll start this at $3, guys. $3 is the starting point on this. There is no name on it, but it's beauty -mas. No name, but it's beauty -mas. $3 is the starting price. $3. But last Monday is a blur. I'm drinking water, Susan. They always want to know what I'm drinking. It's Dr. B. Mm. Oh. You're a nut. What? Yes, you are. Uh. $3 is our starting point, guys. If nobody's interested, just give me a pass and we'll move along. It's really pretty. If it was big enough, I probably would wear it myself, but it's not big enough. Because I got a big old football player and kind of neck. And there's no way to extend it for, for me. So, $3. It's where I'm going to start. It's really pretty. And if you didn't like the pendant, you probably could get it off. I don't know why not, but let's just see. Yeah. Mm. 
You might have to finagle a little, but I think it would come out of there. Finagle it around, yeah. I'm not going to do it because then I'll have to finagle it to get it back in there. So, okay, guys. I'm not seeing anybody interested, so I'm going to pass on it. My husband is eating. You shy away from finagling? My husband is eating popcorn. How evil is that? Very, very evil. Okay, guys. This is a vintage lot of earrings, okay? And there might be one pair of thermoset in here. Might be. Now, I just want to tell you, if you've not looked up thermoset earrings in a while, please do so, so that you'll understand my pricing in a little bit. Because thermoset earrings do not sell cheaply, okay? So, ooh, broccoli cheddar's uh, the potatoes. You lost me with the potatoes. I can't do potatoes right now. So, I'm going to try to hook all of these on this, okay? So, we've got one pair of pearly, not pearls, but pearly clip-on earrings. We've got a pair of brown thermoset earrings. And these are all clip-on or screwbacks, okay? See the brown thermosets? These are reminiscent of the 70s. Had to get mama ready for bed. Most of the time I'm in my bedroom and I don't smell the popcorn. I smell it tonight. That's not nice. You've got your... Uh, holographic disc clip-ons. These here are clip-ons. And let's see if I can get them to clip from the bottom. And they are signed. And they are not satin balls, but they have the texture that looks like satin balls. And they are signed Sarah Coventry. Okay. And if you know, I usually do my Sarah Coventry a little bit different, but let me just get this last one out. Not on a low-carb diet. <laughs> and now that I know that sometimes they write that on there, let's just see if there's anything wrote on this one. Nope. Okay. You need to go beg from your daddy, okay? Mama don't have nothing to eat. Go beg. Daddy will share popcorn with you. Okay. And these are screwbacks. So. Hi, Robin. How are you, honey? So, we have one, two, three, four, five pairs of really nice vintage earrings. There is a little bit of wear on the back of these thermosets, okay? We're going to start the bidding on this at... We're going to start the bidding on this at $7, guys. $7. So, I'll just tell you today i done some research on the uh, thermoset earrings because I have a lot coming up in a minute that has three pairs of really nice thermoset earrings. And so, I hadn't priced them in a long time online. And the cheapest I could find them going was $17 a pair. But the average price seemed to be right around the $24 mark. So, we've got five pairs of vintage earrings. These are disco. Uh, they look like a disco uh, holographic disc. These are a pearly disc. These are thermoset. These here are Sarah Coventry. They are all clip-on. And these here are screw-on with the little amethyst and pearl lies a drop. And we're starting at $7 on these guys. $7. 
anybody interested in the earrings, vintage earrings, thermoset. Yep, thermoset goes for big bucks. And I have a vintage, I have a lot that has three pairs of thermoset earrings in it, and I have a thermoset necklace tonight. And I have a bunch of Coro stuff. If you're a Coro fan, you need to hang around because I have a bunch of Coro. And yes, I know I normally hoard it, but I'm trying to break my hoarding ha habit. So, anyway, so. Okay. Nobody interested in these? They're really nice. Aren't those cool? My least favorite pair are these, but. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. So, start at $7, guys, on the five pairs of earrings. That's less than $2 a pair. The round silver ones with all the colors. Yeah, that's cute. That's neat. Nobody. I still have a couple of sets. So, a couple of sets. Oops. Okay. Just want to make sure. Can I get a pass on this and we'll go on? Need a pass. Pass for Susie. J uh, Rascal. Is somebody putting their trash to the curb? Stop. They are pretty. So... Okay. Oops. I may have to pull that earring out. Okay. We're going to... I'm putting them up and I'm putting them up differently. So, a little bit here. That was... Okay, what number was that? Hey, painting the roses red. That was number. F oh, that was that number was out of order anyway. So I'm looking for this one right here. Thirty nine. Stood in two lot outline. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell y'all about this. This has a very thermoset look to it, but it's not exactly thermoset, okay? And uh, it is signed Japan, but it's this molded plastic. And then these little leaves down here are under that are under them are enameled, little enameled leaves. At first, I thought, oh, they're missing rhinestones. And then I got to looking at it, and they're little enameled leaves. And this is a vintage necklace. It is signed Japan. There's a, quite a bit of wear on the chain. I'll just tell you that right now. So, anyway. So, this is a vintage piece, and we're going to start it at $4, guys. $4 on this vintage Japan necklace. Let me just get it real close. And that is a pink and lavender. And then the little enameled part is lavender. Okay. 
There is not hardly any wear at all here on this part of the necklace, but the chain has wear. So. And a hair on it. Start at $4, guys. This is number 39. Beautiful vintage necklace. Beautiful. Do I know the age of jewelry, vintage jewelry marked Hong Kong? I don't. I haven't ever looked it up. So, but I know it's vintage, but I don't know the age of it. Probably would be real easy to find out, though. You can look and see when they quit marking at Hong Kong. Because they started marking at another... There's Lori. You just mentioned her and she shows up. I mentioned you probably five minutes ago. Said I was missing you. So we're looking at a vintage necklace. Has what looks like to be a molded plastic. And enameled little leaves. And it is in pink and lavender colors. And I'm looking there to see if. There, the colors show a little bit. Hey, Cheyenne, how are you? And we're at, going to start at $4, guys, on this vintage necklace. Very nice. There is some wear on the chain, but around the actual necklace, there is no wear. So... $4, anybody? Nobody interested in the vintage necklace. Okay. I'm going to put it up. Put it back in the hottie hole. Actually, I need to start listing some of this stuff on Etsy. Okay. I got to pull this earring off because it keeps getting caught in my, neck, in my shirt. Okay. We have a... Swiss blue topaz in sterling in a size 7 ring. And we're going to start at $7 on this ring. It is a size 7. It is Swiss blue topaz. Thank you, Cheyenne. And here you go. There you go. And it does, it, it, yeah, you see how it's made there where it don't. Oh, there. Sterling Silver, 925. Start at $7 on it. $7. It is brand new. It still has the little tag on it. Got Cheyenne in at 7 I'm going to turn my light back on. Turn it off sometimes so that the colors will show better. I guess you could adjust it. I don't think it's supposed to be adjustable, but I guess you could pull it apart some. So I would be very careful doing it, but I'm sure you could pull it apart a little bit. It is a size 7. There you can see that blue topaz really pretty. We have Cheyenne in at 7. It is a size 7, though. Whoa. I knocked her over. Size 7. We're going once at $7, guys. Going one time at $7. We're going twice at $7, two times at $7. This is your final warning. If you see me looking over there, I'm looking to see what it looks like on my 
phone. And it looks like I'm staying pretty much up here. Final warning. Final warning. And sold for $7 to Miss Cheyenne. Thank you, Cheyenne. Thank you. Thank you. That was number 40. Where did 41 go? Was that 40? I said 40. Where's 41? Okay. Okay. Is uh, Cheryl, are you still here? Cheryl, Cheryl, are you still here? Okay. Part number 40. Okay. Here comes your thermoset. At least three of them. Okay. Y'all heard what I said about pricing a while ago. About how... When is the Ipsy bag, Halloween bag? Next Monday night. Next Monday night. Next Monday night, the Ipsy Halloween bag. I have three pairs of beautiful um, vintage thermoset. They're all in browns. And let's just see. There we go. You can see the colors better. Hi, Bob. How are you, hon? They're all, of course, all clip-on. Vintage thermoset. And we're going to start the bidding on these earrings. This lot of three at $10, guys. $10 is where we're starting. And that's really low because I was thinking about starting at 20 but... I decided we'll start at 10 because potentially you got $75 worth of of uh, earrings here right at. So $10 is where we're starting. Cheryl is in at 10. I love thermoset. I have some more in the hottie hole back there. I have some up here that I won't probably won't let go, but I am trying to. I mean, they don't do me no good back there in the corner in the little toolbox, which y'all can't see. It's back in this far corner. They don't do me no good there. So. Ten dollars. Anybody want to go eleven on this? Ten dollars. Ten dollars, guys. Ten dollars going once. Ten dollars going twice. Wear it at home, Susan. Wear it at home. Ten dollars going twice. Show you these. These are in really good, really good shape. I love these, the browns. We're at twice. Uh, 
and we're sold for ten dollars okay you got three pairs three pairs for ten dollars that's basically three dollars and thirty three cents a pair so i'm going to make an offer to you cheryl i can add these in that nobody that nobody bid in on the big lot I can add these into that lot for another $3 if you want them. They are a chocolatey brown purple almost. So, is he still in rehab? That's okay. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? So, Cheryl, say yes or no if you want them for another $3. That would make you four pairs for $13 would, what, would be what they would be. So just tell me yes or no, and we'll move along. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. If I wasn't so lazy, I have y'all. I have a, I have a whole box of stuff of things that have to be listed that need to be listed on Etsy, and yeah, it's still in the box. It's not that I'm lazy; it's just that I don't slow down much. Always on the go, but I am lazy sometimes. I will. I will give me that. I am lazy. <laughs> so, anyway. This is an Avon piece. And it has an Avon extender in it. Somebody wanted a really long necklace. You'd love to shop my Etsy. Well, it's Cindy Loves Jewelry. It's Cindy Loves Jewelry. Hey, Bougie. It's Cindy Loves Jewelry on Etsy. It's Cindy Loves Jewelry on Etsy eBay and CND Lovin, CND Lovin, Cindy Lovin on Poshmark. So we're looking at 14 inches, 28 inches with a, looks like about a three inch extender. This is an Avon piece. It has an Avon hang tag. It is in gold tone. Let me get my light back on. It is in gold tone. Well, I'm feeling a lot better, Miss Susan, since I started this new diet. I've really lost a lot of weight, and so I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know if something hung there. There's like a jump ring there, or I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to start this Avon necklace at $2. $2, guys. And thank you, Kathleen, for the... Uh, the... Uh, compliment on my hair i absolutely positively love it so thank you i don't do much with ebay and i've been thinking about closing it down and moving everything that's there that's vintage to my etsy store so ebay's they're kind of getting crazy with some of their stuff so but anyway but again that's work so Anybody, $2 on the Avon necklace. Really nice chain, gold tone chain. No wear on it. You got these little rings. It's got these little stations. If you didn't like the rings, you could just take it off and wear the necklace. So, anyway, $2 is my starting point. $2 is my starting point on the Avon. $2. Yeah. And hey, Bougie, I saw you come in. Yeah. I think... I don't know. Anyway. It's NRTA1. Oh, it don't matter what number it was. So, okay. We're going to pass on that one. Number 44. Here we go. Did I lose Michelle? 
because I have a lot of silver tonight, and she does like the silver, so not that you guys don't like it. You still do both eBay and Etsy? I just, I mean, I literally, I'm paying for a store. I'm paying for a store, and I haven't had a sale in months. I mean, and I pay $30 a month for a store, so... We're looking at 15 inches, and this is really pretty. In fact, I was really surprised that it wasn't signed. But I don't see no signature. Yeah, we had a good, we had a good uh, craft sale me in April. So we did, we did. We didn't have no paper crafts. It was mainly all jewelry crafting stuff. So, but yeah, we had good time. So. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? And we're going to start it. It's not signed, but it's so pretty. We're going to start it at $2. $2. No, I don't pay for an Etsy store. You just have to pay. You just pay when you list on Etsy. Uh, we do them usually the... Like the week between the... Um, 12th to the 17th, that Wednesday, whether it falls on, like this time it was the second Wednesday. Sometimes it'll fall on the third Wednesday, but it's like the week that is the teen week, that Wednesday. We always do them on a Wednesday afternoon. So, so yeah. So, we are... At $2 first with Susan Gill, okay? Susan Gill came in first at $2. This is a blue necklace. Blue necklace is really pretty. Uh, yeah, feels like plastic. No, yeah. Yeah, feels like plastic resin. Have a bag of vintage brooches. Then we're going to hit some Coro and some Thermoset. And that'll end this one. And then we'll. Uh... And we're out. Susan Gill's at $3 going once. Susan Gill's at $3 going twice. This is our final warning. And we're sold to Susan Gill for $3. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, sweetie. Sterling silver, guys. Sterling silver. This one starts at $8. A beautiful sterling silver 18-inch cross. On a chain. It does have a chain. It's not just a pendant. Sometimes I do get in just the pendants. But this one has a chain. And. Trying to. There we go. Trying to get that out of my way. I left the tag on it. Most of the time. A lot of the times I cut the tags off. But it's a very very fine chain. Very fine. And then you have this textured cross okay textured cross let's see if i can get it to show the texture on the cross i don't know if it's going to or not i don't think it's going to so 18 inches long it is new and uh I'm going to cut the tag off, but I'm going to put it in the bag. Because it's really annoying. Not an independent. Nope, it's not an independent. It's attached to a chain. Got Lori Hollister in at eight. There you go. 
Lauren Hollister is in at eight. I will tell you that's a nice size cross. The cross is actually looks like the cross is actually an inch and a half long, an inch and a half long. So we've got eight dollars, guys. It's very simple, very nice. Eight dollars with Lori Hollister. Anybody want to go higher than eight? Number forty-five. Eight dollars with Lori. There you can see the texture. Eight dollars with Lori. Going once. It's really pretty. Eight dollars with Lori going twice. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Lori for eight dollars. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Some of you may recognize these. I showed these last week. Only last week I had them in a 10 ring lot. This week it's in a 5 ring lot. So we have this beautiful ring right here. It is a stretch ring. It is really nice. It's got rhinestones. Nowhere. These rings look brand new. There's only one of them has a little bit of wear. Nope, not in this lot. This lot, none of them have wear. You have that one. This one is really nice. This is a little engagement looking ring. These are both about size sevens. This one is about a nine, I think. And the last stretchy one is has an eyeball looking thing and it snaps off so you can change it. You can interchange these. And we're going to start these at $5. That's a dollar a ring, guys. You can't find rings for a dollar, especially not some of the quality of these anywhere else. $5. I thought maybe somebody might not want 10 rings, but they might want five. So, great resale. I mean, I would totally resell these for 3 to $5 a piece. If I was going to like do it individually. Got Barbie in at five. Also if you make lots. They're great for lots. Barbie's in at five. Barbie I thought of you today. In one of my lots I got. I don't know what I've done with it now. I thought I hung it up. But I don't see it there. It's somewhere around here. I got an Avon chain. I know you always like Avon chains. Avon makes some of the prettiest and best quality chains, I think that's out there without them being gold. So Barbie's at five. Going once. Barbie's at five, going twice. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Barbie for $5. Thank you, Barbie. Are you weighing on your little piddo? Is Miss Judy in here? Judy Daly Honey Bunch. 
Oh, Judy Daly, honey bunch. I'm fixing to do a vintage. Uh, roach lot. <laughs> My mind just went just as blank as blank could be. I mean, stick a fork in it. It was not blank. It was not working. Okay. There's only five brooches in this lot. So, and they're all vintage. This one is Mark Giovanni. This one is Mark Giovanni. And we're going to start at $5, guys. A dollar a brooch. This one is Mark Giovanni. This one here is not marked. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Can you see those pretty little blue, almost milky stones? Aren't they pretty? Pretty, pretty. This one here is marked art. If I can get it out of the silly bag. This is March Art. It has a little bit of wear on it. Here. You can see right here, one of the little orange stamens lost his orange. Okay. Hey, Debbie. How are you? Uh, Kathleen was first with her $7 bid, guys. That's number three. Number four. I do not know if something went in the middle of this or not. I'll just tell you that right now. It could have had a rhinestone. This is how it came to me. Okay. Number four. And number five. I'm saving what saved to last because I think it is a very special brooch. And that one came unhooked and it was scared me so here is number five and it is a micro mosaic beautiful beautiful quality work number five it has the almost like safety pin catch on the back of it Love that micro mosaic. Put a black stone. Yeah, it would be really pretty. So. We've got Cheryl Seaver in at $10. Two. This one here is gorgeous. The light is really blocking out how pretty those little stones are in that. They're really a pretty milky blue. Cheryl Seaver's in at 10. Kathleen's back at 1050. That is Giovanni. And then this one is marked art. So you've got two marked pieces. All vintage, I do believe. And you've got the micro mosaic. And the only reason this micro mosaic is going is because I have one nearly just like it. In my bedroom. On the tray. And I think. I would wear it like that. I was going to wear it. We're at $11. This is number 47. Twelve. Kathleen is out. Did 
That's a beautiful micro mosaic. Twelve fifty. Y'all realize you haven't even hit three dollars a brooch yet. So that's a great bargain. Thirteen. I love them. Absolutely love them. Gorgeous brooches. Thirteen fifty. Just because I don't want to put them back up, I'm going to throw these screw back uh, pearl drop earrings from the vintage earrings while ago and the uh, holographic looking clip on earrings in this bag. So we're at $15. You sure you're out since I was adding two pairs of earrings in there? Going once at $15, guys. Going one time at $15. Going twice at $15. Twice at $15. This is your final warning. Final warning. Thanks to everybody who bid on this lot. Cheryl, Judy, Kathleen, and Vintage Rose. Thank you all who bid. Bex and Rose. I said Vintage Rose. <laughs> she sat on her hands. $15 were sold to Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Hey, guys, guess what time it is. It's time for another giveaway. Yes, it is. Giveaway. C and D. C is $2 off. D is $3 off. And uh, Elizabeth, I got your information. So if you win, I have your info. So... Okay, pick a number between 1 and 50. If somebody else has your number, you can change it one time and one time only, okay? Um, this is hosted by Cindy Loves Jewelry. It is not affiliated with YouTube at all. Um, you do not have to like, subscribe, or anything to my channel to be entered, okay? And, um... And, um, there's another one I was going to say. The description is in the, all the rules are in my description box. And, um, no whining. Yeah, no whining. So, anywho. Yep. Yeah. Ha uh ha. -huh. You think you're funny, don't you? You think you're funny. So, pick your numbers. Two dollars and three dollars off. And if you notice, I mix them up. Sometimes they'll say it'll be three dollars first and two dollars, and sometimes it'll be two dollars and then three dollars. So the first time it was three firsts and two, the second time this time it's two firsts and three this, this time. So I'll mix them up just to keep you all on your toes. So, I see the numbers are coming in across the country. And Ken isn't even here to transmit them. I was going to say, Bob, get your number in. He is here. Are you transmitting for me, but, uh, Ken? Are y'all working on auction stuff? I know y'all have so little time anymore. You have to work when you can find a moment. So, I got a bunch of little bags that are hanging around here. I think I'm going to throw all these little bitty ones away. I don't like them. But, they're good for little bitty earrings. So, I'll, I'll save them. 
I can't throw anything away. Y'all know that. So, he's testing Sterling. So, we have two coral pieces and another thermoset piece coming up. And then we'll start on box number one. And then anybody that comes in will say, she's only on number what? <laughs> so, are we all done? Everybody got your number in? I see lots and lots of numbers. Dave was testing popcorn, yeah. I think Dave tested it and it's probably been approved. It's kettle corn. So, I'm fixing to type in stop. And he come to the kitchen and did his big belch. He's real good at doing that, so... Hey, bring me one of those packages of uh, 100 calorie uh, walnuts and almonds. And stop. Okay, if you ha have. Oh no. Oh no. 12 is this number. So. No, I don't want a 100 calorie things of honey bombs. <laughs> Y'all just better eat them now because the harder it gets for me to do this, the less I'll be buying y'all crap. So I may have them all for breakfast and lunch. All of them? Yeah. I don't have one. So I don't think Jared likes those. Number 12, it looks like Judy Daly is the closest there. She's at 13. I don't see anybody else closer. Do y'all? Nope. Judy Daly, you're the winner. Dave says conglomerations. And for the $3 giveaway... The number is number 32. 32. <laughs> 32. So we have Susan Gill at 30. Looks like Susan Gill is the winner on the $3 giveaway. Congratulations, Susan. Congratulations, Susan Gill. Susan Gill. There we go. Oh, no, I lost y'all. There you are. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you all for entering. We have this lovely, lovely, multi-strand, and I always hate trying to untangle these. Coro necklace and this one is marked Coro and it's not marked on the it's not marked on the thingamabob sometimes they're marked on these hookies this one is actually printed here on the right there and you can see that real good it just shined up real good there Coro necklace on mobile internet he needs to go on his mobile hotspot because my internet, my thing just went black. It's saying I have no connection. Okay, am I back, guys? Am I back? Oh. Okay. It showed that I came back. So, but anyway. He needs to remember that. He can't be on the internet when I'm on the internet. I live in, We live in Podunk. Remember? Podunk. Huh. There we go. You didn't know we lived in Podunk? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ain't got a That's oh. Yeah, we ain't got Chick-fil-A. That's Podunk. There we go. My light is wanting to do wonky things, and I don't like it. Stop it, light. There we go. Okay. There. 
I'm back. And I threatened him. He's not scared of me. I can tell y'all that right now. So we have this lovely little Coro necklace. And we're going to start it at $4, guys. $4 for Coro. Yes. $4 for a Coro necklace. I don't know if cleaning it up would help this dark bead because I think it feels like to me it may be the metal that's making it dark inside of it, but I don't know. It is gorgeous, isn't it? I'm going to start at $4. Got Vex and Rose. Oh no, come out and go back in, Sandra. I'll put the beans in the thing. Okay, thank you. We've got Vex and Rose in at four. Vex and Rose is in at four. This is number 48. She says she's still buffeting, but I think that may be autocorrect. <laughs> but uh, buffeting sounds fun, too. So Vex and Rose is in at four. Anybody else interested in this vintage necklace? Beautiful Coro necklace. You know, it's hard to find Coro in perfect shape. I mean, I've got a piece here. This is in good shape, but it's not in perfect shape. I've got a piece here that's in gorgeous shape coming up. We're going twice at $4. Final warning, sold to Vexing for $4. Thank you, Vexing Rose. Oh, dear. Cheryl is looking for candles. And I've got Thermoset. I believe this one probably is Coro also, but I do not see any signature. And I will tell you this, if you do not know this, when you have multiple pieces that come in sets, sometimes not every piece is signed, okay? So, just because it's not signed, it does have this kind of dingle dangle. And Coro used a lot of different kinds of little dangles. And sometimes they use that little thing right there. And it's really short. I'll just tell you this right now. It's really short. And it is, what am I looking at? upside down let's do it like this instead of like that what have you done how do you spell it c-o-r-o c-o-r-o coro c-o-r-o So we're looking at 12, 16, probably right at 17 inches. Yep. Yeah. This one, 17 inches is really about standard for a vintage necklace piece. I'll just tell you that right now, if you didn't know that. <laughs> and this is Thermoset. This is beautiful blue thermoset. We're going to start this necklace at $5. Start at $5. This is number 49. Got Judy Daly in at 5 Judy came in first, Robin. Coro mm. was the first brand that I started hoarding. Then I started looking for Hobay, and I have some vintage Hobay in tonight, too. 
not the rhinestones, but enamel. Uh, I'm about to drop this, so I'm moving it out of the way. Mm. Oh, okay. So we have Judy in at five first. Cheryl, can you hear me? Are you looking for candles? I'm selling a thermoset necklace. <laughs> You're out to Judy. So, Lex and Rose is in at six. Remember, all is fair in love and auctions, okay? Don't want nobody to get upset in an auction. Judy Daly's in at seven. But that's what we're here for is to bid. So, Judy Daly's in at seven. So pretty. The blue is not. You really can't see. It's just almost like a baby powder blue. I keep moving things over the top of my. Let's see if you can see it better there. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better there. It's a really pretty blue. I'm going to change. Let's see. Ooh, I can really see it real good right now in my camera. It looks really good. Oops. There we go. That was with the lights off. Did I change the color? Nope. Kind of change my colors. Ooh, there, that looks real pretty. Seven dollars. Vexen is out. Going once at seven. It is gorgeous. Going twice at seven. These are things that just lay in my little hotty holes. I get them out and look at them every once in a while. Twice at seven. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Judy Daly for $7, guys. $7. What a bargain you got, Miss Judy. What a bargain. There we go. Okay, another Coro piece. This one is very nice in beautiful shape. Beautiful, beautiful shape. And... Again, we're probably looking right at 17 inches. Let's just see. 1, 2, 3, 12. Yep, 17 inches. I'll just, hold on. I'm caught in my shirt. My shirt has a lacy overlay. That's why my earrings kept getting caught on it. So, can you see that? This one is signed Coro here on the here on the tag. I think that's where it says Coro. It may not say Coro there. Yeah, it does say Coro. Has a copyright mark in front of it. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gold toned. Very nice shape. We're going to start this one at $5, guys. Start this one at $5. Ooh, I am. I just stopped, though. I was, but I'm not no more. You know what? Make it putting it on that canvas style thing makes it look. Got Robin in first at five dollars, guys. Robin came in first there at five dollars. There you go. That makes it easier. It looks a little better. Isn't it gorgeous? Hmm, it's not pixelated on my phone. 
Vexen is at seven. Vexen is at six. I said seven. Vexen is at six. Vexen is in at six. Out to Vexen. Out and back in, fixed it. Isn't it beautiful? There we go. We're at $6 to Vexen Rose. This is another Coro necklace. $6 to Vexen Rose. Anybody else? Going once at six dollars, y'all. Going once at six dollars. Going twice at six dollars. Two times at six dollars. Guys, this is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Vex and Rose for six dollars. Oh. Oops, sorry, before I saw you, so, okay, guys, I want to be fair about it, I had already said, declared it sold, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do, stay with my decision there, it was sold to Vexen for six dollars, guys, and I know that y'all, uh, I'm sorry, I just, have to do it the way that I that I call it, and I I totally had said sold before I saw it, so okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll try to make sure I'm looking. I try to watch right at I'm saying sold. So okay, I showed this last week. It is really cute. It's magnetic. It's got these little blue stones in it. It's a clamper. If you are interested in this bracelet and would like to buy it for $2, $2, say blue, say blue, and at $2, I'm losing a dollar on what I paid for it, but that's okay. It needs to go. $2, it don't fit me. I thought I bought it to wear, and it don't fit me. So, $2, guys. All you got to do is say blue. It's yours. So. My mom was 39 when her first grandchild was born. My dad was 38. My brother was 19 when his first son was born. Nobody wants the blue. We're going to pass it. Okay, guys. Oh, I got Judy Daly at blue. Got you, Judy. So, if the word numbers confuse you, I started backwards. I went 26 through 50. This is number one. <laughs> blue bracelet. $2. Judy Daly. Thank you, Judy. There we go. Uh, number two. Started pulling it out and then I laid it down. Okay, guys. Well, we're glad you're feeling better, Miss Susan. This is Trafari. Let me just make sure. Does it have a crown? No, no crown. And it's a mug style necklace. You got stones right here. And we're going to start this Trafari necklace at uh, $3, guys. $3 is where we're going to start. So number two, it is Trafari. Start at $3 on the Trafari necklace. $3. Anybody in on the Trafari? 
three dollars is our starting point it is signed trafari it is not crown trafari but it is signed trafari right in there Very pretty. Trafari necklace. Three dollars. Got Susie P in at three dollars on the Trafari necklace. Susie P is in at three dollars. Do y'all ever eat these little hundred calorie snacks? They're really low in carbs. They have three grams of carbs, but they have two grams of fiber, so it makes one net carb. So, 100 calories. This one is almonds and walnuts. You have to have three or four bags. So, for me, I don't know. It may be different for other bodies. Yeah, I am doing keto. I know it's... Um, I know it's not the choice of a lot of doctors, but my heart doctor did tell me I could do uh, keto if I made sure that I was supervised. So I'm supervising myself while I do it. <laughs> so anyway, Susie P going once at $3. Susie P going twice at $3. Trafari necklace. This is your final warning. And we're sold for $3 to Susie P. Thank you, Susie. Make sure I stick that. Okay. You can't be. But what I was going to say is she said she has to eat three or four bags of them. Uh, when I do, I've just been doing it a week. I mean, literally just a week. But I went down between 12 and 14 pounds in that week. But I never peed so much in my life. I know TMI. Barbie, I know TMI. So, okay. So, this one fits me. And it fits comfortably. It don't pop open. It is a beautiful little enamel bracelet with flowers. And they have rhinestones. And none of the rhinestones are missing. It is not signed anything. And we're going to start this one at $2, guys. It is so cute. Hey, Pat Hood. How are you, sweetie? $2 is where we're starting this one. This really pretty mint green. Enamel clamper bracelet with little pink flowers and rhinestones in it. Anyway, once I get started on keto and get really good into ketosis and get where I'm really in the groove, I don't feel near, near as hungry as I do all the time. When I'm eating sugar, a lot of sugar stuff, it just feeds my cravings. So, anyway, I just crave everything, but when I'm doing low carb, I don't crave stuff. So, in fact, I have to be real careful to make sure that I get all my stuff in, all my calories and my fat and my protein and my carbs. So, nobody interested in the little bracelet? So, I always said that between my two boys, that John, John was sneaky, and he would tear your house down board by board, like literally board by board, he would tear your house down, but Jared, he was just outright, he didn't care, he'd just take the hammer and do it right in front of you, so anyway, but I'll be sharing some more of that on my on my vlogtober. So anyway, but I've just been doing it a week. Um, I I will say this if you've not heard me say this, I paid forty dollars 
to have a company make me 28 days of menus that fit my macros by filling out a questionnaire and all that. And I paid $40. Of course, they want me to pay another bazooka, bazooka money to get a year's worth. But I'm not going to do that because I have lifetime access to my 28 days. I can pick out the meals that I really like on it and do them over and over. But also, there are so many channels on YouTube that have uh, keto cooking that are excellent. And there's a lot of keto groups online on Facebook. So, I'm in three now. So, nobody wanted that. I'm passing on it. I have a pair of Monet earrings. I know that really surprises y'all. That I have Monet earrings. Listen, I love to watch the What's for Dinner shows on YouTube because it they cook real things. Real things that are... I have, yes, I do have a, a actual sterling turquoise ring coming up. And I have more sterling. In fact, the next item up is going to be sterling, yes. So I have a pair of Monet clip-on earrings. They are signed Monet. They have the that little paddle look. Monet. And we're going to start these at $3, guys. $3 on the little Monet earrings. Yep. Next up is a... Ooh, a, um, a Kishi Purple Pearl pair of earrings that is 14 yellow, 14 karat yellow gold over sterling. So, yeah, gluten-free. Yep. So, Monet earrings start at $3, guys. Monet. These are really cool. I like them. Anybody? Yes, clip on Monet's. They're clip. They're cute. That they call it a comfort clip. Because it doesn't snap. It just eases on. Yeah. Starting bid is $3. There you go. Silver tone. Silver tone. Which is more rare in the Monet. The silver tone is more rare in Monet. They're, most of their stuff is in... Gold tone. So, $3, guys. Nobody? $3 buy it now. Top Monet. Got you, Miss Robin. Okay, here we go. Oops. Make sure I'm in the right bucket. So we have a pair of purple. Kishi Purple Pearl 14 Carat Yellow Gold over Sterling starts at $8, guys. And here, that's what I'm looking for right here. Now, I will tell you that when I get these that say they're 14 Carat over Sterling, and I scratch them. They always test positive for the sterling. I never test them for the gold, okay? 
because they're the sterling is your base. We're going to start these at eight dollars, guys. Eight dollars, and this is a Keshi pearl. Start at eight dollars, 14 carat yellow gold over sterling silver. Start at eight dollars on these, they're really pretty. These are brand new. They are stamped 925. So. Anybody. Michelle Lyon, where are you? Don't you need some pearl earrings to go with all your pearl necklaces? They're actually purple. A purpley, pale, lavender I would say a pale lavender pinky. They've got a pink swirl to them, but they they on the on the uh, form that I got the packing slip they said purple, but they're lavenderish with a pink swirl in them. And. You can kind of see the swirly in it. There we go. Yeah, you can really see that swirly in there now. We have Robin Skywatch in it, eight. That back just a little bit more. We'll turn it back on. There we go. Robin's in it, eight. Going once. Robin's in at eight going twice. I think the I have like sterling like nearly every five items. And I think the next one's maybe this. Let me just see. Yeah, the next one is um the next sterling item will be the turquoise ring. So going twice at eight dollars. This is your final warning, and we're sold to Robin for $8. Thank you, Robin. Okay. I showed these at the end last week, but that we were getting really low on people at the end, and also we had just come off of having the big uh, um, bidding on the... Um, that vintage lot and so i wanted to bring these back and show them show it again tonight this is a j-lo necklace it is mark j-lo and it's really pretty and we're going to start at uh we're going to start at three dollars on this j-lo necklace guys and it has a j-lo hang tag has Three different, four different links that it can be adjusted to. Got Cheyenne in at three. Let's see, you've got one, two, three, four rings you can adjust it to. And let's just see, you got my sky watch, my sky watch is in at four. So I've got it on the shortest one that you can adjust it to. And it is 17 inches at the shortest. And you've got another one, two, two inches. So another 19, 19 inches. So we're at $4. Cheyenne is out. Really pretty. Going once at $4. Going twice at four dollars. This is my final warning. Final warning. 
and we're sold for four dollars to my sky watch j-lo necklace i'm making sure to watch because i don't want to miss anything again so there we go j-lo you have a new home now j-lo necklace Okay, this is a cute, cute set. So, these are all glass beads, and you have these little flowers painted inside of this glass. Well, no, I can't tell if they're painted inside or not. They kind of look like they are. The little black beads are glass, too. So, y'all know I hate this illusion wire stuff. Hate it with a passion. But you have the little necklace and you have matching earrings. And actually, it's almost like it's reversible. There's a pink flower on one side and a blue flower on the other side. So you could wear it however you wanted to put it on. On one side, it might be pink. On the other side, it'd be blue. So... So you have this little set, and we're going to start this little set at $3, guys. $3 is where we're starting on this little glass beaded set, $3. Not a fan of illusion wire, but it is really, really pretty. And just because I'm not a fan don't mean that somebody else might not be. You know what I mean? There we go. There we go. See, those are really cute. Those little glass beads. Anybody interested in this set? $3.00. Okay, we're going to do a backward auction on this. I'm going to say, I'm going to go down by 50 cent increments. When I hit the increment that you're willing to pay for it, say, put in that number. And if you're the first person that puts in that number, it's yours. So we started at $3. We're going to go down to $2.50. $2.50. Two fifty. Anybody willing to pay two fifty for this set? These are glass beads. So if you wanted to take them off the illusion wire and do something different, very easy to do. We're going to go down to two dollars, guys. Two dollars. Two dollars. Anybody willing to pay two dollars for it? Lori Hollister is the first one in at two dollars. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Lori was first, Miss Susan. I want to go by how I'm seeing it, okay? I'm going to go by how I'm seeing it. We'll do it, do it like that, Miss Lori. That's how I did it with Vexen's thing. Have to go by how I see it, okay? Okay, this is right up Susan's alley right now, though. She'll like this. Okay, Miss Susan, you're all about beads, aren't you? You will love these. So... We've got this little stone, and these are all vintage beads, okay? These are all vintage beads. These are little stone beads of some kind. I got this from Barbie, okay? There are five beaded necklaces in this, and they're all vintage, okay? So, that one. Then we have this orange set. Now, it might not be as vintage as the others, but I figure it's from 
probably the 90s. And that is a vivid, beautiful orange. These are plastic beads, okay? Then, this is beautiful. I don't care who y'all. They are plastic beads. I say 80s. Totally 80s on this one. That's number three. And we're going to start these at $4, guys. $4. Then you have black and red. Now, spring ring. Those have little black dots. Those little, these black ones here have little red pokey dots on them. $4 is where we're going to start. $4. And then we have this really pretty blue set. Long blue set has these square beads that have grooves in it. Really nice. So, $4 is where we started. Okay? $4. We'll put them back in and show them again. One, the blue with the gold. $4. Got Judy Daly in at 4 Red and black. This one here reminds me of the 80s so much. And then this orange one. That is such a vivid orange. That would, if you, like, if you like to take beads apart and make, like, wind things, those orange ones would really show up real pretty. And then these little stone beads. I bought that from Barbie. So... I paid $3 for them, so not making money on some of this stuff tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. This is number eight. Going once at $4. These are vintage beads. Going twice at $4. Have to take out the dog. Going twice at $4. This is your final warning. And we are sold to Judy Daly for $4. Thank you, Miss Judy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, here is a man thing. This is a stainless steel ring in a size 12. And we're going to start at $4, and this is really cool. This is a brand new piece, okay? Brand new piece. It's still got its tag on it. And you have a skull with an anchor. You have a skull with an anchor. Skull with a Viking hat on an anchor. Start at $4. Cheyenne's in at 4 Very nice. This is number nine. It is a size 12, so it's a big manly size. Cheyenne's in at four. Going once. Cheyenne's in at four. Going twice. Final warning. Final warning. Okay, guys. We're sold to Cheyenne for four dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cheyenne. Had to let the dog in. She's taking a dog out. You're letting one in. I don't know what they're doing with my dog. Okay, guys.
we have another sterling silver turquoise ring. This is a size eight and a quarter. And it is turquoise. I bought this from Vanessa. And we're going to start this ring at $9. And it is turquoise. Okay. Start at $9. On the sterling silver turquoise ring. We got Cheyenne in at 9 And it is marked 925 on that side and uh, C well SS GSJ or CSJ CN on the other side. So nine dollars. I bought three in a lot from her. And uh, anyway, I kept one and sold the other two. Nine dollars, guys. It is turquoise. Anybody else coming in on the ring? Oh, I have another lot of rings, too. Going once at nine dollars. Going once at nine dollars. It what size? It's an eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. This is a steal on a turquoise ring. I'm here to tell you. Eight and a quarter. Going one time at $9. Going twice at $9, guys. Going two times at $9. Take it out of the box one more time. There you go. It does have a signature inside of it. I did not research it to see. And... Final warning, final warning, and we are sold to Cheyenne for nine dollars. Well, not well, Cheyenne, you got an excellent bargain. Excellent, my friend. Excellent. So this next thing, <laughs> we're going to start at seven dollars. Now, this is very interesting. This is brand new. It came from the channel. Y'all know I love to watch, shop the clearance aisle on the shopping channel. And uh, anyway, get some cool bargains. We are going to start this at $7. So you have a bracelet that has a magnetic piece and you can stick anything that is magnetic that would stick to it. Anything could stick to it. So let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, let me pull out some kind of a little thing on the bob here. Let's see. I don't see anything. I want to That'll stick. Maybe this will stick. Of course it won't. It's not magnetic. So. Anyway. But anything magnetic. Now. It is a bracelet. It comes with something that sticks with it. It's a uh, half. Halfway. Doesn't close all the way. Clamper. Not supposed to close all the way. This is what comes with it. This little owl, owl in enamel and rhinestones. He is, he sticks to the bracelet. 
like so, only I've kind of stuck him upside down. He sticks to the bracelet like so. Okay. Seven dollars. But he is also a brooch and a pendant. He has a brooch and a pendant. So we are in at seven dollars. And he is a gorgeous darling. So pretty. So, so pretty. And there are really nice rhinestones in the bracelet, too. What did I do with those while ago? I don't know. Thinking I'm talking to myself. We're at $7 with Miss Robin. You got this cute little owl bracelet that comes off, and then he is a brooch or a pendant. But that magnet is really strong, and it's really hard to pull him off. So, uh, it, I guess it's designed like that so that you don't lose it. But it's really cute. So, this is brand new. I left the tags on it. So, this is number 11. Owl bracelet. We're going once at $7, guys. Going one time at $7. And they're packaged up separately. So I will repackage them separately. So that they don't rub against each other. We're going twice at $7. Two times at $7, guys. Two times at seven dollars. Final warning, final warning, and we're sold for seven dollars to Robin. Thank you, Miss Robin. Thank you, thank you. She's she's a hooting. Okay, guys. Here we go. If you were here last week, you saw these earrings. There are 20 pairs of earrings in here. Okay? They are nice earrings. I'll just tell you that right from the beginning. These are nice earrings. One. Two. Three. We're going to start at $7. That's 70 cents a pair. No, that's less than that. Wait, 20 pairs of earrings and I'm starting at $7? Holy cow. Yeah, start at 7 Normally, I would have started it at 10 50 cents a pair. So, set, that's less than 50 cents a pair at 20 pairs. Two, start at $7. Two. Three, four, little seahorses, five, the seahorses and the starfish are adorable, six, Seven, and these are clips. There aren't very many clips, but there are uh, maybe a couple pairs in there that are clips. Okay. Half hoop cutout. Eight. Enamel, enamel half hoop. Nine. Clip on total hoops. Rhinestones. Ten. Uh, shrimp earring. I done showed you the first one of that. This one is number 11, a dingle dangle. I've done showed you that one. It's the match. Here's the dingle dangle match to that one. Here are the little, these are pierced silver. 
Here are the 101 Dalmatians. I've done lost count. I'll, we'll count again at the end, okay? I'm just laying them all out together. Matching them up. These beautiful door knockers. These are very nice. Very, very nice. I'm so shocked they're not signed. And they could be, and I missed it. Sometimes my old eyes aren't what they used to be. These are marked Made in the USA. They are an enamel earring. These have a little uh, lavender color rhinestone around them. A little half hoop. These are a heart half hoop. And they are a lever back. It goes over the post. There's the enamel match. Where did I lay that enamel one? Oh, here. There. There's the cutout match. The heart match. The little lavender rhinestone match. The Dalmatian match. Just a design on a button clip earring. And then a pierced star earring that is kind of a starburst, kind of a star. So, and here's the other match to the cutout. Okay, so let's start counting them back in. We have Robin in at seven. We're going one, two, three. Four Dalmatians, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, those seahorses are adorable, 17, those are two, 18, 19, 20, and 21 21 pairs of earrings at seven dollars makes them like 30 cents a pair is that about right 21 pairs going once at seven dollars guys going one time at seven dollars i added those little dalmatians at the end the other night so Going twice at seven dollars. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Robin Sky Watch for seven dollars. Thank you, Robin Sky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. That is number twelve. This is number thirteen. I have another ring lot. Okay. I'm going to start out by showing you this ring right here. This is the only ring that has a lot of wear on it. And I put it in with the gold tone because it's it's worn down to the brass only on the back. The front of it is not worn at all. The front of it is gorgeous. And it's silver tone from the front and the sides. Even the sides are not worn. Just that back right there. And it's about a size Probably right at a size 8. Okay. Because nearly all of these rings were 7s and 8s. So this is 5 rings. will start at $5. So look at that. That is gorgeous. I so would sell that one for $5 myself. Then you've got this one. Again. Right at a 7. Then you have this one. Another, probably seven, but because it's so wide, I can't get it all the way down. 
Start at five dollars. Yep, it's a beautiful honker. I love this one too. You've got this, you've got the black stone, and then you've got little deep red stones here on this wrap around here that come around. It's about an eight. It's a little loosey goosey. About an eight. And then you have this pretty little green one that's about a six. So you've got one, two, three, four, five rings. Yep, five rings. Let's see if we can get this. Five rings. Five rings starting at five dollars. That's a dollar a ring, you guys. You can't beat it. Oh, you can buy dollar rings at the dollar jewelry store, but I'll tell you right now, they're not this kind of quality. These are nice quality rings. This one here is the only one that shows anywhere at all. This one is a six. The rest of them are seven to eight. Very popular sizes. Anybody interested or are we passing again on these? This honker has rhinestones around the whatever that's called that builds it up too. Yeah, I called you out a while ago, but then I figured you're probably feeding Gabriel and giving him a bath, so. It is Gabriel, ain't it? Is it Gabriel? Yeah, it's Gabriel. Okay. I don't see any interest. Gallery. Gallery. The gallery. Oh, that's called the gallery? Okay, guys. Oh, good. Okay. Good. So, we have five rings. I started at $5. I'm going to go down. This is going to be a backwards going down by 50 cent increments. When I get to the point where you want to pay, that's where we'll start. But I will tell you, I will not go lower than a dollar fifty on these, okay? That would be yeah. Anyway. So four fifty. Four fifty. Give you a little bit of time. Four fifty. Hey fluffy butt, what's you doing? What's you doing? Mama can't hold you. Her still working, okay? Her still working. I have some more vintage brooches coming up. Four. Four dollars. For five rings. Four dollars. Four dollars. Susie P's in at four. Thank you, Susie. And we're sold to Susie P. Thank you. Do you need to come say hi to your people? You need to come say hi? Now you have to say hi. You can't hide your face. No, Mom don't need no sugar. Is your belly upset? That's what you get for eating my cauliflower. He ate my cauliflower. <laughs> say hi, people. Say hi. I got sore. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think the key cap may have scratched him. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so rotten. He wants me to go to the bedroom so he can get up on my lap and take a nap. But I can't. Look, I can't do that. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Look at him. Ain't he getting big? And he's getting darker. He keeps winking that eye. I really do think the cat scratched him because the cat slaps the far out of him. So, anyway, that was number 13. 
This is number 14. We're going to start at $3 on this. This is an All Stone Brazilian Adventure Rain bracelet. Now, this is a little bit more yellow than the green that we normally associate Adventure Rain with, but this is Brazilian Adventure Rain. It is a stretchy bracelet. It is stone. Anyway, we're going to start at $3 on this. Isn't it cute? Very nice. Brand new. Green Adventuring. I mean, Brazilian Adventuring. Got Cheyenne in at three. This is Brazilian Adventuring. Cheyenne is in at three. You're okay. You're okay. There ain't nothing wrong with you. We're moving fast tonight, guys. Moving real fast. Going once at $3. Going once at $3. Going twice at $3. Twice at $3. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we are sold to Cheyenne for $3. Thank you, Cheyenne. Enjoy. Okay, we have Sterling Silver Necklace. I think this is a necklace. Yeah, chain. Yes. Sterling Silver Chain. Looks to be vintage. It has a spring ring. It is 19 inches long. It is a box chain. Box chain. Sterling silver. And we're going to start this one at $6. Hey, Darlene. $6. Hey, Darlene. Six dollars on the sterling silver chain. Got Cheyenne in first at six dollars. Remember, you only have to go up by a quarter on my auctions. Six dollars. Blandine is in at seven. Sorry, my head just gave me the creepy crawlies. Like somebody walk over your grave. Y'all ever do that? You get the chili bumps all over your head or scalp or whatever and I'm trying to scratch my back okay Blandine has jumped to 10 I didn't know you were still here Blandine did you leave and come back sweetie Cheyenne is out Cheyenne is out Uh, uh I'm not picking you up again. You would itch my back if I was you were here. You fell asleep. Uh, sleeping way too late lately. <laughs> so we're going once at ten dollars. Going twice at $10. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we are sold for $10 to Miss Blandine. Thank you, Blandine, hon. Thank you, thank you. Okay. My vintage brooch lovers. Yes. We have... Three vintage brooches. We have this beautiful Trafari brooch. And it is signed Trafari. And let's just see what kind of... It does have a crown. Okay. This is milk glass. And 
I don't know why there's a little hook on that up there. I don't know. I'm guessing it's so that you can hang it from a chain if you want to. So you have a little milk glass trafari, crown trafari brooch. You have a beautiful Cora enamel brooch. And it's pink. And it's really long. Let me just tell you how long it is. It is four inches long. And you have this beautiful coral rose brooch. Roses. So we're going to start these three brooches at $9. That's $3 a brooch. These are nice named brooches coro two coros and a trafari got my sky watch in at nine judy's in at ten sky watch is in at eleven My sky watch is in at 11. When, when, we, when I put that one up, I'm going to put it in a separate little baggie. Isn't that pretty? Twelve. I offered this one for sale recently for $5 just by itself. So, you're still at a bargain. That Trifari milk glass one is gorgeous. And so is the little roses. I like that very well, too. And they're all signed. There it is. I was, like, trying to feel for it. Yep, Coro. We're at $13, guys. 13 signed Coro right back here. Signed Coro right there on the leaf. And this one is signed Trafari right back here. It has a cartouche and it's signed Trafari on it. We're at $13. $13. Do you feel like that is just so that you could put it on a chain and wear it? Which it would lay real pretty on a chain, I think. So out to Robin. Going once at $13. Judy is showing... Great restraint tonight. <laughs> Going twice at $13. Oh, I have a really pretty set coming up. That's another vintage set. So, Going twice to Robin. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we are sold for $13 to Robin. Thank you, Robin. Okay, now I love vintage plastics. Oh, no, still no power. Are you just watching on your phone? I love vintage plastics. And let me just make sure, but I believe that these are signed West Germany. No, these are made in Austria. Okay, so... I have no idea of age, but I know they're vintage. Here's what the back of them looks like. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So here's the back of them. And they are plastic. They're plastic. Now, I said there was a set, remember? You have a brooch. And this is a pretty, pretty powder blue. They're made in Austria. Trying to catch that back up in there.
Oh no, yeah, you are you are behind because that was two ago. There you go. Okay. So made in Austria, a vintage plastic set. And we're going to start this set at five dollars. Guys, five dollars on the vintage plastic set. Very unique, very different, and very I've I've had another set of these that was made in West Germany. Cheyenne is in at five. My sky watch is in it. Five fifty. My sky watch is in it. Five fifty. Cheyenne is out. Anybody else want to come in on these? We're going once at $5.50, guys. One time at $5.50. Oh, Cheryl's in at six. Cheryl is in at six on these. Have Cheryl in at six. Hi, back. That's what my dad would always say. Six fifty two, dollars Miss Robin. It's time to cut cut open my package of 100 calories. Seven dollars to Miss Cheryl, and then I'm going to pour them out because if I rattle the package, Puppy will hear me, and he will come and want to share. Yeah, he will come. Yeah, I just cut my bag open. He will come and want to share, and on, there's only 100 calories in it. That's not enough calories to share. We're at seven dollars. Almonds and walnuts, if you're wondering. We are at seven dollars. Out to Cheryl. Going once at seven dollars, guys. Going twice at seven dollars. Twice at seven dollars. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we are sold to Cheryl for $7. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Robin, for bidding. And thank you, Cheyenne, for starting us out. So, there we go. And we are sold to Cheryl for $7. Okay. Not vintage. And after this one, we're going to do a giveaway. Okay, guys. So this is Chico's. And I will tell you, you can wear it like this. But it has a toggle. And you can wear it like this. And make it really short. But you can also wear it untoggled and wear it long. So it says Chico's there, established 1983. It says 35 years bold anniversary. It says their anniversary collection. And then it's got a key and it's got this faceted thing here. Oh no. Must have had some gluten in it. So this is the 35 year anniversary celebration of Chico's. Uh, collection, their 35 year anniversary collection, a piece of the collection, and we're going to start this at four dollars. Four dollars. Yeah, your dinner. 
My sky watches in at four dollars. My sky watches in at four dollars. We're going once at four dollars. Guys, going once at four dollars. We are going twice at four dollars. Twice at four dollars. I have another beautiful Hobe set and a beautiful Coro brooch and earring set. So you don't want to leave, okay? Twice at four dollars. Final warning. Sold for four dollars to Robin my Skywatch. And it's time for the last giveaway. This is giveaway E and F. Oops. There we go. You know the drill. Yuck. Mm -hmm. there we go. So, trying to get this to behave itself and it don't want to. There we go. 1 to 50 and start. Pick a number. If somebody picks the number above you that you picked, you can change your number one time. This is not associated with YouTube in any way. This is a Cindy Loves Jewelry giveaway. You do not have to purchase anything nor like my channel or subscribe or like me or anything like that. In fact, you can hate my guts and still enter. But if you hate my guts, I'm trying to figure out why you're here. <laughs> anyway, everybody get your number in. Ha, ha, ha. Jude's put in 51 again. Y'all do that, and I'm going to eat almonds. Still under my calorie count and my carb count for the day. So, it only has one gram of carbs, but way under on my calories. I don't even remember what the numbers are on the back of these. Mm. You'll share some of your daily calories with me. Do diamond paint, Lori? Everybody got your number in, Barbie. I don't see your number. Cheyenne, Bob, Lori, Jude, 
Sandra, Judy. Judy picked 52. Judy, you're doing just like Jude does. 8, 41. 27, 14, 32, 20. Barbie, Barbie. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm fixing to stop, start. There's Michelle in with number one. Michelle, did you top number one? Michelle, get your number in. Michelle, get your number in. No, I did not cut my hair again. Mm -mm. In fact, it's growing just a little bit. Michelle, do you... Oh, you did. It's 32. Okay, I see. Okay, there we go. And stop. Okay, giveaway E. The number is 18. 18. And I believe Lori Hollister is the winner of this one at number 17. Congratulations, Lori. You won $3 off your purchase. Lori Hollister. And giveaway F. This is for the $2 off. And that number is number four. Now, we don't have anybody real close. There is Robin Skywatch at eight, and she's four away. Nobody else is closer. I hollered at you. Well, goodness. Why would you take a shower? There you go. So, Robin Skywatch won this one. Thank you, Robin. Get $2 discount on your order. Thank you, thank you. Guys, we don't have very many items left. We're starting on number 19 and we go to 25. You have an early date with a little boy? Okay. Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee. Cute little Cookie Lee in peacock bead colors. And this is going to be a quarter auction. We're going to start bidding on this at a quarter. This is number 19. Start bid start at a quarter. Got Barbie in at a quarter first. Barbie's first, guys. Susan's at 50 cents. Susan was first with her 50 cent bid. Landine is at 75 cents first. Barbie's at a dollar. Barbie was at a dollar first. Lori's at a dollar fifty first. Two dollars to Barbie. Where's my puppy? Barbie's in first at two dollars. Susan is out. It is pretty. Those colors are real pretty. Excuse you. Okay. 
setting up his coffee pot. Here he's blowing them coffee filters. Blandine is out. Lori is back at 225. How long is it? It is 16 inches long with a two and a half inch extender. Out, you were going to cut it up anyway. 16 inches long with a two and a half inch extender. So 18 and a half inches. Not very long. Won't go around my neck. Barbie is out. All right, we all done. We've got Lori at 225 going one time, guys. One time. We have Lori at 225 going twice. This is a Cookie Lee brand. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold. Nope. Almost got it. My Skywatch got in at 250 before I finished saying what I was saying. 250 to my Skywatch. I'm watching there. Lori's out. I was trying to watch better because I missed a couple while ago. We're at 250 once. Always save an almond to last. Almonds are my favorite. That would be fun. That would be fun. 250 going twice. Final warning. Final warning. And now we are sold to Robin Skywatch for $2.50. Thank you, Robin. Okay, guys, I have a White House Black Market necklace. And this is probably going to be my last modern piece. Looks like everything else is probably going to be vintage. This is White House Black Market. You have a smoky gray, almost looking quartz looking bead. They are glass with gold rings. Hello, puppy. I ate my snack without you. What a bad, bad mama I is. What a bad, bad mama I is. We're going to start this White House Black Market necklace at $4. Guys, $4 on the White House Black Market. I will just tell you it is. At its shortest, it is. Uh. 16 and a half inches long and it has a three and a half inch extender. So I know. Come here. Come around here. Come here. Come on. Come on, boo boo. <laughs> up you come. Ooh, you're pulling my shirt up. Goodness. That's more than anybody needed to see. Here. Mm. You keep growing and you're not going to fit, Bubby. Keep growing and you're not going to fit. There you go. There you go. Anybody interested in the White House Black Market necklace at $4, guys? $4. Rascal Miss Susan says hi. Quit licking me. I can't stand for you to lick me. You know that. I know. You're just trying to show your loves. Lay your head over. There you go. There you go. How cute is that? <laughs> He's still mommy's baby. Nobody interested in the black house white market? Okay, guys, I see how y'all are. Y'all just make me work. 
It goes in the Poshmark pile. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> when I told y'all I got in my hidey ho, I got in my hidey ho. Big time. This is a Coro set. You have this beautiful flower. See that beautiful flower? Has a big kind of brownish rhinestone in it. This is Coro. Yeah, well, we've sat and cuddled so much that he's just ruined. He's so spoiled it ain't even funny. Barbie says a three-year-old little girl's gone missing near her daughter's. The helicopters are out. That's so sad. I've never been part of a cookie exchange ever. In the woods. Oh, goodness. Okay, guys. There. See this? this is a matching Coro set. You have screw back earrings and a beautiful brooch. And guys, I want to start this at ten dollars. Ten dollars, guys. This is a really beautiful set. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And I. My Skywatch. If I was going to list this on Etsy. I probably would list it between 45 and 50. I'll just tell you that right now. This is number. 21. 21. Yep. He does love me. He cries when I leave the house. So. And I think you could easily get the right collector come along. You could easily get that kind of a price. But all I'm doing is hoarding. So I'm trying to break some bad habits. We're at $13. The only thing bad about almonds is the skins on them. $21. I mean at $13. 21. Number 21 at $13. Sorry. I just needed a drink. I just needed a drink. I'm not eating anything. I just needed a drink. Listen now, he's Johnny on the spot when it comes to uh, why am I making you feel bad? I shouldn't make you feel bad about why, why am I making you feel bad? Just because, oh, do you hoard too? <laughs> oh, believe me, we haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg. So... <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a little uh, back over there. There's a placemat laying in front of it, but there's a little uh, tool chest over there that has over 200 vintage pieces in it. And uh, my drawer back here has. I don't even know how much. And then I have a drawer up here that is marked vintage and I'm done going through this. <laughs> I've, I've pulled out everything I'm willing to get rid of out of it. Nothing will come off of that. So, 
anyway, those are all my pretty pretties. We're at $13, guys. $13. $13. Are you done with this bidding? $14. $14. Mama was you. See how he winks that little eye? But he won't let me look at it. You see those people? They are looking at you. Yes. Oh, mama don't need no sugar on her face. You know I don't like for you to lick me in the face. $15 to Miss Judy. And she says she's a hoarder too. Judy. Uh, yeah, maybe an eyelash or a hair in it. Anyway. Judy, you friended me on Facebook, and uh, I was looking at your profile picture, and uh, you're totally nothing like what I expected, but then when I got to thinking about it, I realized that I had um, pictured you in my mind looking the same as one of my friends that used to live in Conway, and her name was Judy also, and uh, I had pictured you as very tall and very uh, just, I mean, almost anorexically thin because my friend was too. But she was probably over six foot tall. So, and I, in my mind, that's how I saw you. But, uh, uh, and you looked, I mean, I just had you in my head pegged as my friend Judy. So, anyway, so it's always fun when you friend people and then you look at their pictures. Uh, today was the first time I'd ever looked at Cheryl's picture. I was like, wow, so so not what I thought. So she's so pretty. And it wasn't that I didn't think she was pretty, but I don't know. I just thought that she was uh, more, uh, uh, was older than she actually is. And she's not. She's not very old at all. So, uh-uh, no, we don't bark. We bark. What did mommy say? What did mommy say? Do we bark? Do we want thumped on the nose? Do we want our little nose thumped? Mommy pop you on the nose or thump it. No, no, we don't bark. One. That's your warning. One. 17. Judy Daly's at 17. Out to your hoarder friend. We're going once at 17. Going twice at 17. Final warning. Final warning. And sold to Judy Daly for 17. Thank you, Miss Judy. That's number 21, Cindy. Judy Daly. This is a beautiful set. It's even more beautiful in person. I think you're just going to be in love with it. Okay, puppy. It's got a sharp point, so keep your little nosy nose to yourself. There's nothing here to bark at. Nobody's outside. Nothing. Do you need to get down? Here. Why don't you get down and go lay on your pillow? Very good boy. Lay on your pillow. You like to lay on your pillow. We're going to get early, done early tonight. Yeah. We'll get done early tonight and go snuggle in the recliner. So thank you guys. Okay, here we go, Hobe. Now, I love Hobe because Hobe is famous for their rhinestones, rhinestone pieces. But they do enamel pieces, too. And I bought this from Mr. Casey, if y'all know who Casey is. And, uh, anyway, these are clip-ons, and they have these little ugly, yucky pads on them. I'll pull these little pads off, and we'll do these. They are very geometric, but they are signed Hobe. The necklace, well, they're both signed Hobe. Yep, Hobe. I love Hobe. I have a really pretty, 
I hold a uh, pair of earrings. Here, I'll show you. This is the stuff that most Hobe is in, hmm, most Hobe is known for. Let me make sure that's the Hobe. Yes, that's the Hobe. This is the kind of stuff Hobe is known for. Really blingy, rhinestone-y, beautiful stuff. And if you don't know it, Hobe, H-O-B-E. And the O has one of those little marks over it. H-O-B-E. Hobe. And this is what they're normally known for, okay? This is what they're normally known for. And if you don't know it, I love rhinestones. My friend gave me these because on the other earrings, one of these little blue navettes, the, bro the end of it's broke off. So, they just stay with me. All of this stuff up here is all rhinestone stuff. Anyway, so this is, but he does enamel work too. They do enamel work too. So, we have this beautiful geometric enamel necklace and bracelet. And these are... They're not rhinestones. They're just little gold dots in the middle of the geometric pattern. Okay. So, y'all don't get any of y'all don't get any of your on my rhinestone stuff. Sorry. Don't mean to be mean, but you can't cold turkey a hoarder. Okay. So, we're going to start this set at $8, guys. This is a Hobe set. We're going to start it at $8. And, you know, I didn't even look it up, so. My sky watch is in at $8. Susie P is in at 9 I cracked you up. I'm here all week. <laughs> My sky watch is at 10 This drawer back here that I'm talking about has tons of rhinestone stuff. In fact, I looked at a, a... I have people that I sell my Sarah Coventry to. And I looked at a Sarah Coventry set. And I thought, mm, it's just in the drawer, Cindy. And then I thought, Cindy, it's rhinestones. It can't be sold. My sky watch is at 10. My sky watch is at 10. We have eleven dollars for Susie P. Yeah, he definitely does the enamel work. I still like the rhinestones better. The rhin of course the rhinestones have a lot more value because vintage rhinestones just do have value but anyway I'm still looking to see if I can find anything that looks similar to it I'm not seeing anything that looks similar. So, if you're going to resell it, if you're buying it to resell, 
you could totally probably use the word rare with it because there's nothing here that looks similar to it. I mean, nothing at all. Two pages in. And I'm on Etsy. And that one. Yeah. That I saw one geometric piece there. Here is a. Let's see. Nope. That's vintage. Yes. You can see it again. Anyway. I was trying to look it up and see if I could see something to show y'all. That would be in comparison. I saw somebody that had a square geometric sign with a pair of earrings listed for 150 but I think they're stretching it there because I mean I would I wouldn't I would expect to get 150 for for a nice hobe um rhinestone set but not just one geometric design one geometric enamel design so yeah if you're going to resell it you could totally Use the word rare with this. Totally. And since it is rare and I don't see it, <clears throat> you could do a Google Lens reverse search. I don't know if you know how to do that. Um, but you could take a picture of it and then do Google Lens and see if they could find it for a price. But since I'm not finding it, just like I was four pages in, okay, on Etsy. And I did not see anything similar to it. And I would probably list it between $50 and $75. And yeah, I know I'm selling it to you for $13 or $14 or wherever this auction ends up. But yeah, I think, I, I really think, I am of the opinion, okay? Now, I don't do this in my auctions because my auctions are basically, I'm selling to collectors here and resellers and so i try to keep my costs down so that if you buy something you can afford to resell it but uh um but when i'm listing my things on etsy and ebay and even poshmark i am of the opinion that it's always better to list it high and then come down with it okay so yeah i would probably put this up at 75 and then if I got a lot of watchers on it, I would probably offer like a 25%, 30% discount on it to them and do it like that. So, but I am, uh, I've been, uh, I've been uh, uh, around Margaret enough that I know that you don't get high prices unless you ask for them. So, <laughs> so, but uh, uh, yeah, Margaret is how I got kind of got started in this i've always loved jewelry i've always liked jewelry I, I didn't get my ears pierced until after i was 18 but i've always liked jewelry so uh, before dave got ill i was buying jewelry and just collecting it <laughs> so let's just be honest and then uh after we came here i started selling Because we moved here because it was a lot cheaper than where we were. And this is the same town my parents were in. And at that point, I kind of needed some help with Dave because my son didn't move with us. And so my mom and dad helped me a lot. My dad would take Dave for coffee and stuff like that. Anyway, but Dave is doing really good. I don't I'm Jared's here to help me like when I'm sick. But anyway... But, uh, yeah, we're at $15. Are we all done? $15, guys. Hobie. I don't even remember what I paid for it from Casey. So, I'll just tell you that right now. I don't have a clue what I paid for it. It's a simple and pretty design. I love geometric stuff. I like that geometric. Is it giving yourself a bath? Okay, Miss Skywatch, are you done? Are you still trying to find it? <laughs> so, we have Susie P at $15. Susie P. 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 Susie
Susie P is at fifteen dollars. Trying to see if Sky oh Skywatch is back at sixteen. Seventeen to Miss Susie P. Is you winking at me? Is you is you is or is you ain't my baby? We have three items left, guys. Three items. Seventeen. We're at seventeen dollars now. Eighteen. Eighteen dollars. Those are clips. Twenty dollars to Miss Susie P. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Out to Susie. Enjoy. Going once at 20. Going twice at 20. Thank you, Skywatch, for bidding, and thank you for letting me know you're out. This is your final warning, and we're sold for $20 to Miss Susie P. Thank you, Susie P. So, there we go. I think this is vintage, but I'm not sure. But you have closing a beads in between this big, ugly ball beads. And they feel like closing a beads. They're raised. You can feel it. Anyway, really pretty. We're going to start at a backwards bid on this. We're going to do a backwards auction, okay? So, we're going to start at... You've got a spot on that bead, right? Let's see. On this, you've got a spot on one of these big beads here. There we go. See, there's a spot where the paints come off. This is, to me, a deconstruction piece. We're going to start at $3 and go down. So $3. When I say the number you're willing to pay, the first person that puts it in wins it. I'm going to hold that close so you can see those closing ice style beads. I did. I called it ugly. These big ball things are ugly. The closing A beads are gorgeous. Okay. So there's enough closing A beads there to make a pretty little bracelet. So anyway, I know I'm not I'm not politically correct with my technique, am I? So we're gonna start at three dollars. If you pay three dollars for it, you save three dollars. If you want to pay Right now, $3 is the point we are at. Gold tone beads with closing A. Okay. If you want it for $2.50, now is the time to say $2.50. If you want this for $2.50, now is your time to say. See those beautiful closing A beads in there? If you would like this necklace for now is your time to say two dollars. All you do is say the price. All, all you do is say the price. If you would like this for two dollars. All you do is say the price. Judy Daly. <laughs> Sorry. Judy Daly said it first. Okay. 
We'll do another one of those. I love doing the backwards auction. We got Judy Daly on that first. This is number 23. $2. Judy Daly. Okay. Here we go. We got. We're going to do this one backwards. Oh, two. Okay. We're going to do this one backwards. When I get to the number that you are willing to pay the price for it, you need to say, just put in the price that I've said, okay? This one is vintage, okay? This is vintage, or it's made to look vintage. I will say that. It's got the little hooky thing on it, and it's little pearls with little gold beads in front of it, okay? And we're going to start at $4 and go down here. $4. If you will pay $4 for this necklace, then you put in the word for the number four. $4. I will wait just a little bit and then we'll go down by 50 cent increments. I will not go under $1.50 on this one, okay? So, $4. If you will pay $3.50 for this necklace, then type in $3.50. If you will pay $3 for this necklace, $3 for this necklace, then put in the number three. If you will pay $2.50 for this necklace, $2.50, then that is the number to top in. $2.50. If you will pay $2 for this necklace, then the number to put in is two. Two dollars. Okay, I have Judy Daly at two dollars now. Thank you, Judy. Okay. I have another necklace that is a rhinestone necklace. Yes, I know it is a rhinestone necklace. It is 16 and a half inches long. It has no, no pretty thing. And we're going to start the bids on this at $2. Start the bids at $2, and this is not a backwards auction. This one is a frontwards auction. $2 is our bid. Got this, um, amber topazy colored bead here, rhinestone, and then all these clear rhinestones around it. $2 is our bid. Where we're starting. This is the last item, but I'm going to show two items that I'm going to offer again. Susan Gill is in it, $2. Susan Gill is in at Susan Gill's in at $2. It is very pretty, isn't it?
Got Judy in at three. Jude's in at three. Yay, your power is back on. Susan is in at four. Susan is in at four. Jude is in at five. Jude is in at five. Jude is in at five. Susan is out. Going once at five dollars. Going twice at five dollars. You just don't want me to send you money. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Jude for five dollars. Thank you, Jude. Okay. Just in case somebody missed this piece right here. We have this piece that is molded plastic. It kind of had a thermoset look to me, but it is lavender. It is older, and it has some wear on the sides, okay? We're going to start at $3.50, and we're going backwards on this, okay? This is number 41, okay? Nope, that's not number 41. It was... Number 39. Number 39. Okay. Number 39. It is signed Japan on it. So, start at 350. When I get to the number you're willing to pay for it, you say it. If you're first, you get it. Okay. Number 39, Japan necklace. Okay. It is plastic. And it has these little enamel leaves at the bottom. Three dollars and fifty cents is where we're starting. Three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty. Almost done, puppy. Almost. Three dollars. Three dollars. Don't scratch me, please. Three dollars. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Got Robin in at two fifty. Thank you, Miss Robin. You were first. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna offer you. And I'm gonna offer this as a buy it now, so Listen for the word that I tell you to use, okay? Listen for the word that I tell you to use. So, this cute, 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 cute little mint enamel bracelet, okay? Mint colored pink flowers enamel clamper bracelet. Now, a while ago, I started it, tried to start it at $2.00. So, if you would like to buy it now for a dollar fifty, pink is your word. Pink is your word, okay? A dollar fifty, pink is your word. It's a cute little bracelet. I got you, Miss Susan Gill, and it fits me. So, if it fits me, it should fit anybody. So. And that is num was well it's going in a bag that says number three but I don't think it was actually number three but it might have been yeah it's going in a bag that says number three and a dollar fifty was the price number three bracelet and a dollar fifty was the price and Susan Gill was the winner. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for tonight. If there is something that, actually, the only thing that I really have left is this one here. So, if okay, we'll do it, too. We'll do it at a back, backward auction. This is really nice. Bless you, Dave. 
snaps, slider, mesh, and um, I started it at three a while ago. We'll go backwards from three. Three dollars, guys. This is number 38. Three dollars. Going backwards to two fifty. Put your number in if you want it at two dollars and fifty cents. A very nice mesh with a slider. Mesh with a slider. Two fifty. And it will come off if you finagle finagle it around. Okay. You can get it off. You just have to like that. Just kind of twist around the snapper. So, okay, my Sky Watch is in at 250. So, thank you, Sky. 38. And that's the last thing. Mesh necklace. 250. Sky. Sky Watch. Okay, let me. I'm going to put it back on so that when you get it, it'll be back in there. So I should have made sure it would go back on before I slid it out, shouldn't I have? Good night, everybody. Thank you for being here. And all of you that won some of this vintage stuff, I hope you enjoy it. And don't do like I do. Don't put it all in a place and hide it okay so okay good night i'll see you all tomorrow sweet dreams i'll be i'll be on with a devotion in the morning on my uh vlogtober i missed it this morning so i'll be on in the morning so y'all have a good rest bye bye